how long until we get VOD muted? <laughs> <laughs> is this it? Is this the episode, the very last one, where we get the, the, the strike and then everything gets taken oh, down? Oh, did you guys get that email? Did you guys get that email about what's going to be happening with freaking music specifically on Twitch? Yeah, it's like... That doesn't help. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it doesn't fucking do anything. <laughs> Not really, no. It does. Wow, it's cool. literally worthless. Thanks. <laughs> wow, I... this is worthless. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Kevin McLeod, our free use music we've been using. Yeah, hell yeah. Like Kevin. Who hasn't gotten us put to jail. So thank you, Kevin McLeod, Kevin. as well as Tabletop. Oh. Well, as well as Tabletop Audio. We love you. Yeah. Oh. How are you doing, chat? How are we feeling? I, I got yelled. I got yelled at last night for posting Undertale. Undertale, like in the, in the last <laughs> what? People were, people were like, you're, you're evil. You're evil, and I'm like, listen, all right, <laughs> bro. Would you have? Would you have rather it been Big Shot? Like, what the fuck do you want? From <laughs> I mean, now's your chance to be a Big Shot. Be a Big Shot, God. But I'm already uh... a Big Shot. Take the deal, you little sponge. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh man, we're here. We're at the epilogue. <sighs> Despite Reckless' be best efforts, nobody died. Wow! <laughs> I I near sacrificed my me. life. You yeah, scared you, me. You scared I mean, me. Well, what do you expect? What do you What do you want the burst DPS to do, Monty? It's the one thing I'm good at. Die. Burst. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I will burst into unlife apparently, but yeah, hey, it's burst, it. burst into flames. He just he I just disappears in a puff of feathers like a cartoon. <laughs> I wanna I wanna reiterate. <laughs> I wanna reiterate, in that fight, I went from total 75 HP to total 25 HP permanent. Mm -hmm. Fun. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, Task's pinky finger is crook slightly different. That's all he got. <laughs> we all look at each other and say, "Who is that guy?" <laughs> so awful. This, this is the, this is the thanks I get. I'm leaving all of you. I did not try to do anything. It just happens. The boss had a mechanic where it reached. It well, you reached know, I just crafted the boss all together. Reach funny hit points. Didn't do anything. When it we also hit points. It would reflect back all its all its, all the damage it took on the person who did the damage to it. And that Max was, health we also, drain. We also we also went like two or three rounds of people not attacking. So I'm like, all right, here I go then. Yeah, that was made me really nervous. I'm like, oh no, they're not attacking him, and he's. I was. I down. was burning. I was burning his legendary resistances. That's, uh, that's not damage, Connor. Well, I cannot deal with burning. Mockery, uh, <laughs> not with two D four. Uh. I hope you guys are enjoying the epilogue so far. It's just going to be everybody arguing about who did what in the final fight. That's <laughs> really this what is, matters. This here. is everyone in, at the Sweet Dragon like playing in game their own characters and shit. This is like this. This is the this is the subterfuge fucking episode where we're actually playing a game and it's all a dream. So. Yeah. Next, or I'm just calling it right now as it is. Fulikuli's got a good point. Greckles, you got to go back to the wish pond and start grinding like you want it to sit there and just keep casting spells until wish happens. For, for every <laughs> HP Greckles loses, the more handsome he becomes. Oh, God. <laughs> now I'm beautiful and frail. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Unobtainable. Uh, we should probably start with our introductions. Yes. <sighs> okay. Edward Bosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and then right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. You, you doing Excellent. anything cool? Yeah, did you do, have you been in anything lately? I'm have, doing this done... tonight. This is cool. This is what I'm all about tonight. All right. Aww. That's fair. All righty then, Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you? And what uh, you, you, can find, you can find me at Gaijin Goomba literally everywhere. I have too many Japanese themed games to play and more coming this month. But no, go go buy my homebrew. <laughs> I <laughs> literally, I literally <laughs> just got, I literally just got the next Yokai race done. Thank freaking God. I've been sitting on that for a while, but it's not one, but five different playable races for fifth ed. They are made with detect balance, so they are as balanced as I can get them. Um, 
and they are completely built up from actual researched folklore from all across the country. So if you've been wanting to put a little bit of Asian spice into your campaigns, this is where you need to go. I've also got the copper race done, the tanuki race done, which, oh boy, a couple people here know what that's like. Um, but Where's yeah. It? That's amazing, don't you know? <laughs> Edwin, I can't believe Edwin's playable. <laughs> anyway, one more time, go check it out. It's it's silver, by the way. So thank you everyone who's purchased it thus far. Ooh. It's 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 going pretty pretty quick, pretty well. So yeah, appreciate it. I'll be working on more because I've got like five more in the backlog to put together. I want to tell a funny story about DM skill, but that maybe I'll save it for later. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm good. <laughs> funny who, who funny, next? Funny strange. Uh, Zito? Funny, I haven't logged in in two years and forgot I had content <laughs> on there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was like, oh, right. <laughs> people, people have to buy this. And I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Also, I do not apologize for the image that I used for my cover page for the Oni race. I don't care. It's okay. Remember how the throw was too anime? Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Stupid as fuck. Uh, I, I guess me now, I guess. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi, everyone. Chris Zito here. You can find me on that uh, twitch.tv slash Zito where I play indie games. Uh, I'm actually getting back into it, and I have a fuck ton of new ones to show off. Uh, Homebrew-wise, uh... I squeaked out one last final bit of content that was actually cut from Primal Elk, and I made it its own thing. Listen, you like spiders? No. What? What about what about anthropomorphized spiders, dude? Listen. So we're I, talking man spider from Spider Man? Basically. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you, you 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 want to be a web slinging Spider Man, Spiders Man? Uh. Go ahead and check out the latest $5 post I put on Patreon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just give the whole list here. Uh, the master list, because it's on there. And here we go. Uh, oh, it's not linking. Cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck me. Uh, come on, load. They're called the Iran. They're basically just... You want to just be a spider's man that isn't a drow and or evil or some mixture in between actual good guy spider person? It's it's on there. It's the latest thing I just put up. Yeah, for some reason, it's just not copying and pasting the fucking link I want to actually show people. Wait, here it goes. I hate this piece of shit. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please go here. This is it. Get get you some spiders for $5. Next month, uh, I actually have done my due diligence and got my next main update out for next uh, month uh, done. So sometime early next week, you should be getting uh, a warlock that is based around a slime patron and uh, possible slime people, because I know someone's about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you want you want to be slimes? You want to you want to have warlock be about slime? I don't know. It's, it's, it's there. Five dollars. Just get it next month. Remember a long time ago, back in three five, there was a druid subclass where you just were slime person. You just became a slime person. The Gowanodon. Yeah, you could just basically be the Gowanodon for someone who said that in chat. That's some fucking deep cut from three point five. Oh boy. Whoa. No, ignore the sound dice. You already got Helena's Guide to Monster Honey. Is that in there? I didn't fucking know that, so... Oh, well. Competition, I fucking suppose. I don't know. Slimes and spider people have been done years. Eons, even. Thousands yeah. of years ago before the dawn of man as Mother we knew Nature. It. You're just all copying Mother Nature. You yeah, right? I, I knew I should have just went back to doing fucking cartoon characters as playable races. <laughs> oh, wait, I did that. Mother Nature, Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, please, please go support my stuff. I got more stuff down the line. And there's a lot of playtest stuff that I haven't put out yet. That's all kinds of nonsense. I'm good. All right. 
Monty Glue, where can they find you? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow should be Dungeon of the Mad Mage. We've been away for a couple weeks, but uh, it may surprise you. I've been a little busy lately. <laughs> Um, and we are currently on the second level and we're going to continue on hopefully tomorrow. Uh, and on the weekend I've been playing Pokemon Arceus. Uh, we just kind of, well, actually I did smash and pass Pokemon with, uh, Theropod and, uh, I was there, I was and, there for uh, a few Bracky. moments. You were, and I was like, oh no, mm. um, I'll I learned a lot of, I, I learned me. a lot about our friends and apparently I have a very, like, <laughs> For some reason, a weird attraction to rocks I've learned through that. So, yo, uh, and, also, pretty. and also, Pincer was one where it was like, um, yeah, there was a lot of a lot of fun there. Um, and then uh, I also have been playing Pokemon RCS. It's been a really really good time. And then also, I picked up a PlayStation Four, so I actually have a PlayStation Four now with a few games, and I might stream some of those, but I'm not sure when. Um, but for now, it's going to be kind of short play, mostly probably Pokemon Arceus for a while until, um, things happen and things kind of settle. Um, and yeah. Neat. Connor, All right. your turn now. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Tuesdays, I'm playing tabletop games with my friends, uh, board games, card games, stuff like that. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I basically just uh, play whatever I want with whoever decides to show up. Sometimes playing some party games, VR games, stuff like that. Saturdays, I'm playing through the Yakuza series before Gateway, because the Prince Division is also wrapping up. Mm -hmm. Uh... And, uh, yeah, I'm moving on to the final chapter in Kiryu's saga, uh, Yakuza 6, uh, The Song of Life. Uh, and on Sundays, I'm playing through the Banner Saga, playing as depressed Vikings, and, uh, that's going, uh, uh swimmingly, uh, is that a pun? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know. It's a it's a weird game. Go check it out. It's pretty good. Uh, it's just hard and sad. Um, but yes. Also check out uh, Dead House Sonata, action RPG where you plays the dead to fight the living. They just showed off uh, a showcase of what the abilities might look like in the playable demo that is out now. The playable tech demo, I should say. Um. Be sure to check that out on their YouTube channel and their Twitch channel. Uh, you can also join their Discord for updates on the game where you play the dead to fight the living. And also check out my DMs Guild, where I release 5th edition content, including the College of Distortion Bard, uh, which hopefully should be out sometime next month. Um, it's a power metal themed uh, bard subclass that might seem a bit familiar to some of you. Uh, it has some pretty cool abilities in it. And yes, um, uh, also, I guess I can say it again. Uh, you can hear me as the voice of Captain Adrian Bakunin yeah. in Ghost Runner Project Hell. Something, something missiles. Something, something. Uh, bloodshed ends here. Um, yes. Uh, with that, I guess we can thank... Uh, for one final time. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on the Unexpectables. Uh, one final time for the Unexpectables. The rumble, rattling, and rolling of Die Hard Dice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We, we couldn't have done this without you, but we had quite a great deal of help from our friends over at Die Hard Dice. Uh, your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. Um, uh, all of their support and your support over the years has been absolutely fantastic. 
Uh, can't thank them enough for having us on board. Obviously, Diana, as well, has been fantastic to us. Yeah, oh yeah, she's been amazing. Uh, yeah, and we're, we're excited to have a continuing partnership with them. Yeah. Um, to whatever the future holds. Indeed. Uh, and you can use the code unexpectables exclamation point to save 10% off your order on dieharddice.com uh, to continue funding our shows. So, yes. Uh, thank you so much. And with that, oh, bits and subs, it's time you have, for I'm gonna bits give you and eight, subs. I'm going to give you eight minutes. All righty. Eight minutes. Here we go. Uh, Mad Wombat Man, thank you for the five subs. Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Azul LJ. Hi, Mark. L Robot, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to one last show. Defective Sheep, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Roto Ryu, thank you for the 23 months. Replica Rabbits, thank you for the 12 months. Hello. Hi. Hunter Man, thank you for the year. That String Fellow, thank you for the 16 months. It's the end, my friends. The Goblet of Fun Making, thank you for the two years. I think this is my happiest resub that I've ever done. Thank you all, each and every one of you, for making this incredible story over the past five years. For my first year at university, The Unexpectables was my lifeblood. Major Kudo, thank you for the 20 months. Dragon Alchemist, thank you for the 23 months. Mild Satyr, thank you for the 10 subs. Nova Flame, thank you for the nine months. Dreadlord Bedrock, thank you for the five subs. Alevens, thank you for the two years. Setsuma Fortuna, thank you for the 19 months. Thank you all for everything. Invictus Max 777, thank you for the 100 bits. Thanks for the memories. You all are a part of reason. I love D&D so much. I'm excited to see what comes next. Attested Stone, thank you for the 19 months. Kale Ward, thank you for the 100 bits. Apparently I have a thing for rocks. It looks at like Goliaths. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Pegleg Bob, thank you for the 14 months of Prime subage. Shmugio, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, hey guys, I haven't been able to watch in a very long time. I'm usually not very vocal, but here I am. I just wanted to say thank you for everything you guys do. I've been watching you all since the very beginning. You guys have helped me through thick and thin. I love you all. Now go roleplay your asses off. I make things up. Thank you for the 24 months. 24 months. So many laughs, many tears, and much fun. Thank you for the great story and the many to come. Here's to you, Unexpectables. Mild Seder, thank you for the 1,200 bits. Any chance we can get the stats for some homebrew creatures from the Unexpectables campaign? Hmm, stick around I and find out. To, I did have to reorganize that entire fucking binder <laughs> for the final fight. And let me just tell you, organize your shit, kids, because you'll hate <laughs> yourself if you don't. Emerald Bandit, thank you for the 200 bits. Can't believe the epilogue is here. Pseudonymic fake name, thank you for the 22 months. Don't be sad it's over. Be happy that it happened, I say, holding back tears. Mm. Kenny Day official, thank you for the 30 bits. Have the last of my bits. Uh, ATLA Gamer, thank you for the 10 subs gifted to the community. Scat Flipsa, thank you for the 13 months. Pixel Belladonna, thank you for the 200 bits. This has been a truly wild, crazy... Amazing, emotional, and simply wonderful time. Thank you all for your hard work, Monty. I can't wait to see what comes next. Uh, Father Muck and Turducken, thank you for the five bits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John at Dawn, thank you for the two years. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Man, Unexpectables and Prince Division are both having their epilogues this week. Can anything else is ending this month? March is really going out like a lion. I get that Bust reference. Dusty Bone, thank you for the 15 months. It is a bittersweet day indeed. What a dramatically ironic day my subversary to land on. Fooly Cooly 9000, thank you for the 100 bits. I can't say enough in a short message to let you guys know how much I've loved this series. Thank you all so much for literally hundreds of hours of entertainment for these past few years. I hope to see you all in the next game. Mm. Blue Cloak 552, thank you for the nine months. Can't stay up, but I'll watch the VOD tomorrow. Thank you for everything for the last two years. Uh, Bud the Spud, thank you for the 24 months. Rabbit in a Kobold suit, thank you for the two years. It's been a good run, huh? I've loved every moment of this campaign. I can't wait to see what's next. Thank you. 
Emperor Penguin Kind, thank you for the two years. My two-year anniversary is on the final episode of my favorite D&D show. You've all given me so much joy throughout the whole thing. Whenever I started watching back in season one, stay strong. Love you all, Unexpectables crew. Dreadlord Bedrock, thank you for the 1,200 bits. This show helped me a lot over the past few years. I've been watching since the start. I just want to say thank you all for some of the most fantastic D&D over these years. You're all awesome, our peers. Monty, your caliber of DMing is something I aspire to. Keep rolling. And be well, ye unexpected, me unexpected heroes in your future endeavors. Jinty13, thank you for the 100 bits. We bow to your dice, Diana. <laughs> Zed Alpha, thank you for the 8 bits. Greco's Flowery Nips, thank you for the 200 bits. I'm keeping this name. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> Crassion, thank you for the 5 subs. Breakfast Baron, thank you for the 10 subs. Dreadlord Bedrock, thank you for the 300 bits. Dippin' Bipples, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, hey, Monty, can I visit you on your channel for old time's sake? <laughs> I'll get you a cardboard box and a cracker. You can you can hang out there. A cracker? <laughs> Dial a in for mud. A single saltine cracker with no salt on it. You oh, only excellent. get one for the rest of your life. Eat it wisely. <laughs> Dial M for mud. Thank you for the 10 subs. <laughs> what? <laughs> King of morons. Thank you for the five subs. <laughs> King Night Owl. Thank you for the 800 bits. <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget what this show's done for me and my love of D&D. Constable Mutton, thank you for the 100 bits. Zito, I want to thank you for introducing me to this as well as Connor and Monty. It's been a wild ride. Dark Savior, thank you for the 1,000 bits. All good stories have to end, but been here since the start. A lot has happened, and then I met a lot of amazing people through this community. Everyone. Ooh, sorry. Everyone. Oh, it's, been, it's been an honor to share this journey. Friendship Optional, thank you for the gifted sub. Brandon, uh, 14, 2088. Thank you for the 5,550 bits. Robomom, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for, uh, thank you all so much. Looking forward to what you do next. Lasame the Robot, thank you for the 200 bits. Thanks for all the years of fun and crazy characters. The Fox of Death, thank you for the seven months of Prime. Zed Alpha, thank you for the six months. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Man, I'm not ready for this. I expect to be feeling the same way I did after... Uh, I saw HTTYD, The Hidden World. Yes. Oh, oh, How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, oh, yeah. Draconian9, thank you for the bit. Uh, Sahil and Z, thank you for the four months of Prime. Uh, thanks for all the laughs and tears throughout these four years. You guys have been a consistent source of joy in an otherwise chaotic time. Love you guys. Looking forward to what's to come. Dusty Bone, thank you for the 5,021 bits. I've had a blast. You've helped me through hard times and introduced me to some of the best friends I've had. You know who you are, T. Uh, send us off on a good note. Cerberus Magician, think of the 100 bits. It's not the end. It's just a new beginning. Monty will still make more waifus in the future. <laughs> you better believe it. Arukana, thank you for the 100 bits. My last bit drop on the Unexpectables. Thank you all for showing me the world of d d It opened the door to find, some, uh, to find something in myself. Uh, love you guys. I'll be there for whatever you do. Tom, thank you for the 1,000 bits. You've all inspired me. I'm so grateful for all the tears and joys over the years. Prob's not a bot. Thank you for the 18 months of Prime. This is the end. Good job, everyone who made the campaign as great as it was. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 100 bits. Zito, if there's a slime warlock, does that make me god? Spartan Wolf, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Been watching you guys on YouTube since episode one, and I can't believe it took the last one to finally catch you guys live. You've given me so much joy and inspiration to not only be a better player, but to also be confident in an ever-proving DM. I found Die Hard Dice because of you, and I've enjoyed every single math gem. You guys are amazing, and I'm happy I could have been a part of this wild ride. Kukulainish, thank you for the 50 bits. Love you guys. Excited for what comes next. Shadows of Pain, thank you for the 23 months. Thanks for being my introduction to D&D. Man, a lot of these messages. Mm -hmm. uh, congrats on the finale, the tale of the Unexpectables. Ox Factor, thank you for the 18 months of Prime. It's been a wild ride. Been watching nonstop for the past two years. I wouldn't change a minute. One last time, one last ride. Iman Tizzle, thank you for the 45 bits. So here's to the incredible journey you've all taken me on. I love you all and I wish you the very best. Dr. Mighty, thank you for the 17 months. One last time. It's going to be weird not seeing the Unexpectables on Wednesdays. I can't wait to see what you guys have planned. 
Mini Ender, thank you for the 14 months. Thank you all for the amazing story. Uh, hmm? Are you good to start? Because you're two minutes over. Yeah, we we can start. I'll I'll save I'll save it at unlucky wrench is what I'll uh, <laughs> see the last bit drop on. Yeah. Alrighty. Are you guys good to get started? Oh, no, no, but let's do it okay, anyway. I guess. <laughs> When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Remy the Kenku Fighter, Panic the Tiefling Bard, and Greckles the Kenku Rogue, a month has passed since the Unexpectables have saved the realm and brought hope back to the citizens of Alabas. The Periton soldiers marooned were quickly arrested and shipped back to Periton to receive what punishment awaits them. Slowly, the damages have been repaired, and as far as collateral is concerned, the giant gelatinous cube incident was much more impactful. But still, losses were calculated, homes were destroyed, but above all, hope remained. What has been broken has been fixed. What has been lost can be mourned. And as we turn to the Unexpectables, we return to a month after the final battle, to the Temple of Orthok, where a procession begins and a wedding takes place. Task. Mm -hmm. Could you describe what Task is wearing for his wedding? There is uh, a small bit of flair. Task will obviously wear some high, high class, uh, like basically a suit, but it's also a decorated sort of uh, armament. So pauldrons on the shoulder, uh, a decora uh, a decorated sort of like a uh, two piece suit attire. Uh, it's going to be. Uh, slightly like a, uh, it's basically a dark red, uh, uh, Task honestly didn't, like, really know how to do this proper, so he kind of, like, defaulted to, uh, Willow and Doros's advice on <laughs> what they sh he should do, because this is, you know, this is, this whole marriage thing is more of a human thing, so mm -hmm. he kind of, like, defaulted to, like, taking their advice, but... Possibly just, like, making sure that there's some sort of, like, decoration of, like, achievements in combat adorned on his clothing. There are some individuals who are not wearing formal wear, um, not because they don't care, but because it probably got destroyed in the in ensuing invasion. Um, mm -hmm. Your best man stands at your side, Doros, who is crying. He's got, like, tears running down his face. and just like... <laughs> On the other side, you see Avery wearing uh, a dress that probably is a little too tight, but she's making it work, uh, as well as the other Griffin riders, uh, including Remy. Would you like to be a part of the bridesmaids? Uh, the duh. Riders? I'm, I'm awesome. going to bat for, for winter. Are you kidding me? Uh, Gregory is there wearing the most ridiculous suit with like sequins on it. It's like over the top. Um, Task, you also have Narag in there as well. Uh, yeah. And you have, uh, <laughs> you have, uh, Hostrad, who's begrudgingly there, and he's not wearing anything nice at all. He's just wearing his normal attire. Of course attire. he's not. <laughs> yeah. Of course he's not. But you watch as at the end of the temple, winter begins to approach, and winter is not a dress person, um, and mostly because mm -hmm. most of the dress shops have exploded um since the invasion <laughs> but she wears her griffin riding uniform with pride and begins to walk with bouquet in hand down the aisle and skinny and and fluffy hooting and hollering log is sitting in one of the pews with his arms crossed like muttering him to himself it's just like but i wanted to ordain the wedding just kind of upset about the whole affair um Helga's asleep, because of course she is. <laughs> and great <Panic>. thanks. 
Panic, uh, Greckles, uh, are you guys best men as well? You want to be best men? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I, I absolutely would have offered to you guys, so fuck yeah if you want to. Sure. Hell fuck fucking yeah, yeah we are. As we got to defend all... you in case anyone objects, like yeah, last right? time. <laughs> like last time. <laughs> like last time. <laughs> It's not. It's, it's not. It's not for so, any any sort of sentimental reason. We need to be there to protect you. So yeah. red, sure. red dragon Re kicks down the door. Oh, I object. Remy okay. and Panic just have shatter at the ready. Yeah, right. <laughs> Everyone's got it's a like, weapon aimed at the door. <laughs> Naragan just has a gun for no reason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I finally stopped trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but as winter approaches you on the altar. Athena takes her place at the pew and begins the procession. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to bond in matrimony these two individuals. And as the vows kind of run through their notions task, Winter is just smiling, like she is beaming and she can't say anything, but you know that with every ask of a vow, um, she nods instead of saying yes, but she nods with every single one. And um, at one point, you know, Athena goes, and if anybody would object to the marriage of these two, speak now and forever hold your peace. And you watch as Kiwi stands up, raises a finger, and then kind of closes his mouth, shakes his head, and sicks back down. <laughs> and then the procession continues. You ask have a uh, God little sake. hand crossbow at the ready, just like pointed <laughs> yeah. at him. He's not even looking. He's looking at Winter, but just like still points it at him. <laughs> oh, never mind. I just I thought. So, sorry. He <laughs> sits back down. <laughs> well, and Athena closes the book. You may now kiss the bride. With no hesitation, Task looks into her eyes, smiles just as wide as she is, and gives her a kiss. Aw, oh, and the audience erupts into claps, and Doros is like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> starts crying, like he actually like is really crying. Now. <laughs> and everybody in the audience stands up and begins to clap as Winter and Task are officially, and by the witness of Orthok, the god of good dragons, are officially wed. Woo! Hell yeah! And so. Seeing everyone cheer up, like, just tur Tass turns to everyone, just, like, looking out into the fucking pews in the audience, just a little dumbfounded, but for the first time in the longest time in his life, feels like he's at ease. It's and it was an noting. earned ease. It's worth noting as you walk with Winter down the aisle... Uh, the Orthog Temple has a giant hole in the roof, and there's like a like a piece of like there's just ruins in one corner of the area, and there's like there's even like uh, kind of welches up there on the roof, kind of clapping down and watching. And there are a bunch of pigeons that are like one that has hands instead of wings that's clapping oh. as well. As you guys proceed down the aisle and eventually make your way to your reception party. At the Sweet Dragon, which also has a giant gaping hole in the front. Like, the entire front entrance has been ripped apart. Like, there's, it just opens into the tavern. That's okay. That just means more people can party. It's more room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get them in here. <laughs> it's just, everyone get, the Where three are the three doors? They're here somewhere. Oh, yeah. it's, it's not a hole. Yeah, there there you are. Are. I, I, yeah, this is a gift from us. And they hand you, like, it's... one of the tankers and walk in. Is this an open bar deal? And they walk inside. Uh, it's an the open happy everything. celebration. They're lifting the temporary ban. <laughs> 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 Call back. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. One sec, I'm trying to find some good party music here. Have you tried It's Raining Men? I wish, but I would like us to keep our... Uh, it's it's the epilogue. I, I'm sure Twitz will make an exception. Wait a minute. No, we need we need we could be heroes. We need that playing right now. I need a hero. Wrong song. We can be heroes just for one day. I can be a hero, baby. Mmm, hero. <laughs> 
all of your allies and peers gather in the it is like it's a horrible horrible it is an osha violation your the state that your tavern is currently in but when parties a little too hard the whole foundation falls apart, <laughs> falls apart. yeah um but everyone we all is throw there it. and there's a you know giving of gifts for what gifts can be given um you are gifted a lot of like weapons <laughs> and winter is gifted many practical items such as daggers and uh she gets a new set of goggles from avery and the griffin riders and there is drink and food by Ty Borpington and Mr. Buka as well. It is a two-person job. Oh boy, man! There are there are pies and there's a giant like lechon like pig. There is all manner of fruits and vegetables cooked up to perfection. There are also insects that are being served up with giant pill beetles and grub worms in chili oh, sauces oh. present as well. The pill bugs task looks up. What? <laughs> are there two Orby. of them? Orby, no! <laughs> no, they are not. They are not. They're, they are not Orby. Orby one and two. They are, they are like, you know, small ones. Um, speaking of which, your giant fish tank has been <laughs> patched up by Iggy with some tape. Um, and refilled as the eels <laughs> kind of dance around and like kids tap the glass. And Helga oh, is there cleaning glasses. Log is running around with sparklers. It is a party. Holy shit, Eggy invented tape. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Adhesive. Oh. So is, uh, where are all my companions at this point? I imagine you guys are all eating at the same table at this mm. point. Man, I can't believe we still did it. I know it's been a month, but it just feels like yesterday. I am ready and more than willing to put all that behind me. I mean, I think I thought that was kind of a given. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> oh. There's going to be time. Pass. Time will need to pass, but there's something else I need to do. But fucking absolutely nuts to that. I You're have married. something to take care of home. Yeah, you look at you, you married fucker. I'm... It's bizarre. I... I keep saying I want to try and find a chance to be happy, and this is it. This is, it's here. But it just doesn't, every time I think that I can be, it, I don't know. For the first time ever, it feels like it was deserved. Feels like it's going to stick this time. I will make it stick, by God. Yes, with this tape that Diggy invented, it's crazy. I know, right? I think I'm going to call it Iggy. Iggy like is like eating like has a plate of work because <laughs> I think I'm going to call it duck tape because when I was making it a duck walked through my workspace because there's a wall there's a hole in it he keeps walking. Ah, so Task, tell us about this uh, zoo. When's it going to be up and going, and what kind of uh, attractions you going to have? I mean, besides, you know, everything that we discovered on the planes. <laughs> there's more than just the planes. The material probably houses an abundance of all sorts of creatures. There have been small little bouts of wanting to go into the jungles where Hasrod is from to see what creatures I could drum up there. That seems like an interesting little find in expedition. Oh shit. Just like hear there's run into his sister. Hmm. Well You're going to Tatalon? Hi, that sounds like a fun little idea, and I don't know, I don't believe Alavast has ever seen hide nor seek of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I mean, except, Did you guys except for that one time that I'm a I hunter turned... first. <laughs> well, no, uh, <laughs> it's just, man, Tatalon. <sighs> Jungles just aren't my thing, like, especially after you know who. So, Tess, does this mean you're going to adventure for a while still? No. I 
I would prefer to stay here, actually get some kind of a bearing, make a bedrock, a name for myself, make at least enjoy somewhat of a normal life before I go off and do something else. Mm-hmm. I did make a promise to someone on their deathbed, and I aim to keep that promise. As you say that, you feel Winter's hand kind of, you know, gently rest on the top of yours and give you a nod. I uh, place my hand on top of hers and smile back at her. Fuck it, we're married. Give her a kiss, too. Yay. So Task is th- happy. Fuck it, let him have this. <laughs> so did you think about any names for the kids? There was one. I know my, uh... My sister said that there was a another name that was planned for me. Though, that's also under the assumption I don't have a uh, daughter instead. Though, the name escapes me at the moment. Aww. We can work on it some other time. It's... Honestly, Tass, like, kind of, like, looks back at everyone else, just, like, a, like his ears droop. He's just like, that seems a little fast. <laughs> yeah, you see Winter is just, like, <laughs> drinking her drink and, like, looking side to side, like, that's just the animatronic, like, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, he's just, like, looking at everyone else, just like, that is incredibly fast. <laughs> well, it all really depends on how hard you're going to try to settle down. As you guys are having this conversation, you see Skinny and Fluffy dancing. And like in the center of the room, you see Scarlet dancing with Tarisk, kind of holding up his front legs and they're kind of dancing together. You see the three drunken dwarves doing like a line dance in the corner. And there's all sorts of people kind of spinning each other. Like Doros is spinning Willow around. And you see Hostrad in the corner, just eating bugs, just watching the whole thing. Um, but I had to make walking, social, goddamn you. <laughs> walking in sheepishly through the front door comes two individuals. Uh, you see Bork Bronzefang uh, in full regalia, and you can see him very quickly, like kind of like wiping back his hair and just kind of licking his thumb and cleaning up his hair as he steps in. <laughs> and you see clutched under his uh, under his kind of the crook of his arm, um, what looks to be like a wooden box of some kind, and kind of like sheepishly entering as well as you see Helena who kind of hurriedly enters as well and kind of waves at you panic as she enters. He he just gets like a like a small sheepish grin on his face and he just waves some fingers at her. As she enters, you see a skinny intercepts and goes, oh, Helena, and then like goes and they begin to hug and Rourke kind of gives a nod and walks forward to you and goes, ah, oh, sorry, I, I missed the ceremony task. I've been, um, busy at the moment as you can probably uh, expect and as he says that you watch as one of the tiles of your roots kind of lands on the ground and bounces a few times <laughs> we're uh, oh. currently assessing the damages of the city to uh refer to our treasurers have no doubt that abacus will be overjoyed at the work that's about to hit her desk <laughs> but um congratulations i i'm happy for you you um you look ravishing he nods towards winter and winter kind of gives him a little nod <laughs> it um it makes me happy to see you all finding a future here um which reminds me um and he places the box it's it can be a wedding gift but um consider it a, a personal thanks from me and as he lifts it up you see what appears to be like pieces like like shards of a bluish white crystal it's um it's all we could salvage from the chains after those crystals disappeared but i figured if anyone should have it it should be you four wow Mm. as picks it up and examines it so this is from the attic a strange place where i saw those visions Hmm. Um, the chains are going to be repurposed as they um, were all that's left behind, but, well, I just, you know, I, you, you did good, and um, I don't want to see it end up in the, some stuffy wizard's collection, you know. <laughs> but um, 
I'm going to go enjoy a ham haunch, and you guys can enjoy the festivities. Don't drink too much. He kind of gives a nod. Captain, it's a bar. No. I, I am on duty. And he walks away, and he watches Doros <laughs> give him a wave, and he goes, Doros, and kind of walks in. What has Remy been sort doing of, this whole time? I look over at him. Uh, Remy seems to be at the bar uh, grabbing a bunch of drinks. <laughs> For himself? <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> huh. Tash, like, like visibly, like, like, if, if Remy turns to look at them, Tash, like, just, like, visibly, like, pretends like he's pointing at every single one, like, counting them. Uh, you would How count many of you five. have so far? You would count five. Oh, 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 right. But no, Tash, Tash would actually say oh, you're if, actually if he comes yeah, back. Go ahead. Yeah, it's just like, hmm. So what does that add up to? Uh, that would be... One, two, three, four, five, if I can still do math. You've already had that much? <laughs> oh, heavens no! I'm bringing this to you! I'm about to embarrass you terribly. Here, take a drink. <laughs> uh, Remy's gonna pass a, an ale out to each one of you. <sighs> Won't say no. And uh, he's then going to pick up like a fork or a knife or something off the table. And he's gonna... <laughs> he's gonna tap the the oh, mug boy. of ale and then realize on like a wine glass it doesn't make very much of a noise <laughs> no, i'll i'll cast pressure digitation to make it sound like a dinging glass <laughs> i'll uh cowbell sure i'll add some minor illusion to try and amplify People. that sound Everyone becomes silent and turns towards you, Remy, and the dancing kind of stops. And the musicians kind of, oh, no, stop, 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 stop. And then there's kind of a silence. Hostrad kind of is going to eat another bug and it like drops and it squiggles away. And he's like, ah, 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 ah. kind of gets upset. But everyone then turns and looks towards you and lets, kind of lifts up their own glasses and they're like, ah, ah, ah let's speak, let's speak, let's speak. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, when I met Task of Iron Oath, he was a short, angry, uh, violent, ecstatic kobold. None of that has ever changed. That Remy's shrinks gonna each word. Rem <laughs> Remy's going to smile at you. But the Tass thing I did learn back. about Task is that he had the heart of a dragon, and there was no stature, and there was no title, and that there was no name that was too all-encompassing <laughs> to truly show what he was all about. Until... I saw how he interacted with Winter. And Winter, I remember when the writers and I first found you, <sighs> unable to speak, unable to communicate outside of your gestures, and yet, the only time I've truly seen you speak is to task. The way you smile, the way you move, the way you look at him, I knew from the very beginning you two had something special. And it brings me such joy to see one of my closest friends and someone who I consider family finally together. And so I would like to raise this glass as a toast to Winter of the Griffin Riders and Task of Iron Oath. Here, here, here! And you hear Gregory go, oh, as he lifts his own glass as well. Task, like, I'm gonna take a swig. Oh. Tass takes a swig, but absorbs all of that. Uh, stands up from his, uh, stands up on top of the seat that he's on, so he can like hold up his hand to be like, "I have some words." Everyone turns and looks again. This has the, been the longest journey I've ever had. I, <laughs> as Grummy stated. I'm not the kobold I once was when I came here. I'm sure a lot of you have all have negative feelings about me when I first interacted with you. But that was only because my life was so wayward back then. Wherever I stepped, wherever I went, it only was to focus on one entire thing. And that was to see what I had taken away from me have some sort of justice. This whole experience, this whole ordeal, 
It almost happened again for a second time. But this time I have all of you. I have friends, I have family. I have a life for the first time ever. I could say that with absolute confidence and unbridled joy and pride in knowing that this is now my new home. I can't thank all of you enough. Task is welling up. Oh. Holds up the glass. As you hold up the glass, you hear in the audience, Hasrod, Fuck you! He's like wiping his eyes. Fuck you too, Hasrod. Uh. To Alavast, to my new home, to my friends, my family, all of you. My companions, the journey I've had. None of this should be possible for me. And yet here it is. And I can't thank you all enough. Here, here! Ah! And everyone clinks the glasses together and claps towards your speech. Doros kind of, like, you know, kind of gives you a thumbs up. He watches Naragan and Athena kind of give you a nod as well. And the fanfare continues as you sit back down. Ask of Alavast. He says to he like mutters out loud to himself, looking down at his his liquid his uh drink. It's got a nice ring to it. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I mean it. This is finally a home, a place where I can stay. A place I don't well <laughs> Tass looks out to the giant gaping hole in the front wall. <laughs> Another tile lands on the ground and like a person like goes, oop, and sidesteps it and goes to the bar. Unlike the last time, where there was a giant gaping hole in an entire county, this could be rebuilt, and it could be more permanent. But what of you all? You know, it's (sighs) kind of funny. You're talking about home, and I always thought that I'd always be here to defend Alavas with my life, since it was my new home. It's the one thing I felt missing all of you were the things that I'd been missing. I was such an angsty, childish, upset individual when <laughs> all along I was just underappreciating what I'd been given. I couldn't even see what I was given. But at the same time, with Solly back at Periton, I just... <sighs> something just doesn't feel right. So I, I mean, don't know. Hmm. What do you mean, Task? Do you mean to be by her side, then? It's funny how all that went. I always thought I was in competition with everyone that had gone after her, Broric, or anyone. But... I, kn- I know this might come as a surprise to you, Greckles, but love is not a competition. No, it's not. And that's what I learned. I learned that if I really was going to love Sully, I had to let her be herself. She had to be her best self. And by doing so, she did amazing things. I didn't tell her what she needed to be. I didn't try to force anything upon her. And it seems like that's all that plagued her her entire life. And it felt liberating to just be an individual who could say, no, you can you do you you be your own person but i will admit just this after this month of her absence it just hasn't felt right maybe it's because i'm still here and not out there we're not doing any jobs for her anymore i I don't know it's complicated remy's gonna give you a very knowing look well go see her Thank I, you. I, uh, but she's in Periton. She's, she's. What have you got everything. to do here, huh? Task, hold, task gonna... holds up the crossbow from his side and points it at Greckles' <laughs> leg. Do it now. You now. listen here. Oh. Everyone has told me that I am some sort of Cupid made manifest. Do I have to fire? I just don't want to get in her way. I, Periton's in an even worse state than Alavast is, and she's trying to pick all that up. And I just. Don't want to add that to her stress. Crackles, 
I can't believe I'm about to say this. Take it from me. Stop living your life for other people. Mm. What do, do you want? Mm. Maybe that's the question I should have been asking myself this entire month. Now that I have the time to do so. We'll see. Well, I've got 26 grand kicking around still. Should be able to get me there. I can't believe I'm <laughs> fucking broke. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's I'm funny. glad you. I'm glad you mentioned that. Remy's gonna pull out a gold piece and flick it to you. Panic! <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> Job well done. Uh, uh, now, five hundred ninety-one gold pieces. No, listen to me, Panic. That does not come without a commitment. Okay. That is a payment for a front row ticket for your inevitable world tour, which I demand to see up close and personal. Oh. <laughs> You think a gold is going to get you in? I'm kidding. Uh, I was about I think. to say, it's, it's, it's more where it came from, but don't break the bank. <laughs> As Crunch, it gives him a platinum. What? Well, I'm, well, listen. Well, clearly he right. put the VIP seat. Uh, he's like, listen, that's, that's awfully kind of you as he's pocketing the platinum. <laughs> You know, that reminds there's me. There's no need to shower me with money, puts in packets. But, but speaking speaking of the Panic Grimtongue World Tour, now that the end of the world is over, I think I might just be ready to kick that off. Uh, if I may make a suggestion, would it be too arrogant to call it the Save the World Tour? We already did that, though. Right, so you have to publicize it now. You have to go out and spread the name of Panic Grimtongue, the World Saver. Panic, Panic Grim Tongue Save the World Tour. There you go. Excellent. It makes me wonder, it... are you going to get for bandmates? <laughs> Band. <laughs> and <laughs> and he, 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 sort of, he sort of raises his mug and then lowers it a bit and cocks an eyebrow. Huh. I wonder... Well, I've got plenty of friends in the musical menagerie that might uh, be willing to tag along with me. As takes a swig of his drink, his ears perk up and he slams his fist on the table. Wait, better name. Panic Grim Tongue, you're welcome, Tor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just a little bit too pretentious, I think. No, not you for you. I I like it. You saved like the it. world. Save the world. Well, gotta be a little humble about it. I mean, are you kidding? I'm owning Ahem. a piece of land. I'm owning a piece of land. I have a wife. I'm gonna make capital, and I'm gonna go to the fucking jungle to catch me a Tyrannosaurus Rex to show off and make fun of one guy who laughed at me four years ago. I don't think there's room for that. <laughs> It's stuff to consider. Stuff I've been considering, among other things. But yes, after all of the celebration and all of the repairing Alavast has done, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna head out. You ever gonna come back? Oh, of course. Well, I'm not leaving forever. It'd be stupid. I own a business here. <sighs> That actually does raise a question, gentlemen. What's to become of this place when we go our separate ways? I mean, place has been up and running while we've been out saving the world before. I mean, I think Helga's got it pretty well sorted. Stop running! The kids stop. Kind of keep moving. <laughs> See, that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. In place like Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I think if anyone's going to be capable of running this place, it's going to be her. I mean, she's done it before. Now I have one other question for you, Panic. Mm -hmm. Holds up the crossbow, points it at your leg. Helena. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> no, now it's your turn, Panic. All right, all right, jeez. When did you become bashful? It's a terrible look on you. I know, I fucking hate it. Can Tiefling's blood? <sighs> we should find out. You squints. <laughs> Cast, like, what? Fucking, like... It's... No, panic, it's for science. You know, right. after after what she said, you know, 
in the end, I've just sort of been thinking like, oh shit, this is really happening, huh? And you know, we we've got some we've got some stuff we need to work on first. Like, yeah, uh, you know, I think I think Zeus was right when uh, he said I need to get our faculty straight before we really dive into anything. But um, you know, I think we're both willing now. So is this going to be we... before or after the tour? That is a very good question. It depends on how much money I need for this couples therapy, I think. Uh, and also if she's willing to come with me. Greckle's kind of... I know he's just kind of staring at his cup. Hearing a, like watching watching his one of his best friends get married, seeing that commitment, hearing about Helena's commitment, he can't help but feel a little uh, a little downtrodden. The one woman that he really cared about is just you know back off in Periton. Uh. Uh, do I see you all downtrodden and shit? A little hey, bit. I mean, he's he, not super. Drop, drop, he's not like season one depressed, but uh, like. Oh, good. We never Mont want to go full season one. <laughs> uh, Monty, could I try to sleight of hand something? Absolutely. Go for Ooh. it. While, while Greckles is looking into his cup all sad, I would like to slip the orb of sending into his pocket. And I would like to distract him to give uh, the help action. You got it. You have advantage, Panic. Look, a brick! <laughs> <laughs> it just falls off the roof. I just found 12 bricks! Just baby! 19. Uh, Alright, perception check from you, Greckles. Oh, dear. Oh, come no! on, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20. Well, we got a nat 20 in the epilogue. You, just, just... you see me with my hand in your pocket. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, panic, panic. Panic, I, I didn't expect this. This is so quick. He's being very I mean, you, I mean, you just looked so lonely. <laughs> I mean, you can read me like a book. I mean, we've been friends for how long? I just, oh, goodness. Start, he pulls out the freaking Tengu fan, starts fanning himself. We're in an inn, literally. I, get a room. I, like, I like slap the bottom of his pocket, and the orb of sending comes flying out, and I grab it with Mage Hand, and I set it down in front of him. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I got it. He'll, he'll mage hand it into his hand. I'll, uh, I'll do it later. I, I, <laughs> this is task stay. Why are we focusing on me? Task, uh, go. Why are we focusing board. on you, Greckles? Because <laughs> you're sad. Oh, cake time, cake time. You hear it. Hey. Ty Burpington begins to wheel out a very large wedding cake, uh, the topper of which um, is <laughs> very cute little fondant uh winter and task on top oh uh, there's kind of a there's kind of a very pretty dragon motif going on with the cake uh and he goes oh wait uh an analyze we need an analyzer and you watch as naragan just goes over and shoots the cake with the crossbow and then looks at it and goes we're safe it's good and he kind of puts the crossbow away and they the read call the back. cake. Oh yeah, task <laughs> thumbs up at that <laughs> Noggin gives you a smile and a thumbs up there and joins Athena and they reel out the cake and you slice up the cake and give it give a slice to everybody. It is a very, very nice light vanilla cake. Um, and the party ensues, drinks are had, uh, and as you guys mingle, who would like to talk to who to start? I can go later. It's completely fine. I, I got done doing a lot of John. All right. Then everybody roll initiative here. Oh boy, here task, we go. Because Task, you just got fucking married, so. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm talking to my wife, dude. 12. Oh boy. Remy? <laughs> Bosco? Remy's dead. Bosco! Choked on, choked on cake. The, the, the crossbow bolt hit him. <laughs> that was fucking hit him. Run down. Bosco! Swear to God. You better be having a heart attack right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is Task's wedding. Don't embarrass us. Point the crossbow at his leg. Something. 
quick roll to attack. Maybe it'll jolt him away. God. Bosco. Sorry. No, the thing got... Uh, there we go. There we go. Roll. Roll initiative. I know. I got it. Uh, where? Why is it not of all the days? Right. Really? There we go. There 13. Go. <laughs> all Perfect. right. Who would you like to speak to at the wedding? Uh, let's start with Brork. Okay. You see Brork currently speaking with Doros, which is very one-sided. And as you approach, <laughs> wow, uh, he, he kind of turns and Doros kind of makes his way away and he goes, Reckles. Brork. I, uh, I thought it only proper to come speak with you again, especially in a festive occasion. I, uh, man, I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, if there's anything I can do to help get the city rebuilt, if there's messages that need run, whatever needs done, just let me know. Well, I, he kind of looks around at the crowd side to side and kind of takes a drink of his, uh, he's drinking wine, fancy, mm. kind of. Hmm. Kind of looks at it because it's 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 the underdark why, and he's like cocking his head and going like, interesting. Um, well, as for rebuilding, Hammernar and the dwarves have got that under lock and key. As it stands right now, the Periton ships have been gently escorted back to Periton to, well, whatever Sully intends to do with them is her business. Yeah. Last reports I've heard is that her, Diella, Pilchard, and Quarion have taken control of the Capitol Temple and surprisingly have not met with too much resistance. Well, that's definitely good news. I was kind of concerned about how the power vacuum was going to fill, but it looks like it's going nicely. He kind of takes another sip of his wine and kind of, you know, savors it and he goes, Periton was a theocracy. And it stands to reason that they were silencing their Azamar intentionally. Perhaps it seems a bit bizarre, but of all the people, Sully taking position at the mantle makes the most sense when you think about it. Absolutely. After everything that she's been able to do here, her ability to organize and move people around and inspire. She also knows something about healing, Greckles. Yeah, she does. But I like to think of her as so much more capable. You know, last I heard, I think she was in need of some additional aids. I have no need for a messenger, but I'm sure Periton might be lacking. He kind of sips his wine and cocks his head and looks at you. I think there might be one more boat that's still heading that way. Why a boat? I could organize a teleportation circle for you. Now Greckles cocks the eyebrow. Whatever monetary value you need covered, I've got you. I think you've paid your debts by saving the world. If it's all <laughs> the same to you. <laughs> he kind of gives you a bit of a nudge with his elbow. Brorik, if nothing else, I was proud to do that. Even... <laughs> He, he, he kind of grabs at his side and, and trying to stand up straight a little bit, even if it did cost me quite a bit. I I understood sacrifice in that moment. I understood everything that you had been going through since me and everyone else showed up on your doorstep. So I, I know we've already said it once before, but I do want to say it again. Is I'm proud of you. I'm proud of your initiative. I'm proud of everything you've done for this city. And I don't think there is a better captain of captains that could keep an eye out for this good old city. Well, I... Thank you, Greckles. That means a lot. I can't say if I'll be staying here for the rest of my days, but I certainly want to leave this place better than I joined it. And, well, I think this, I think these rowdy fools have it in them to do incredible things. And you've certainly proven that to me. 
for better and for worse, as he drinks more of his wine and kind of, you see the eye twitch a little bit. <laughs> well, all things considered, I, I think our end was more than a happy one. I just feel so foolish about the past, and I guess I just want to take one more opportunity to apologize, but also to acknowledge how much you've done. So, yeah. It's water under the bridge, and... Wow. I'm glad to have put my faith in you. Well, I just feel silly for not putting faith in you when I should have. But hey, you you take it easy. I know you work a lot. I know you've got a lot to do, so kick back, relax. Let us know if you need anything. Finger I'm going to drink, and he swirls his glass. I'm going to drink all your wine, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> uh, you might want to be careful. You might want to be careful of Helga, then. Gives you a firm slap on the back and walks over and begins to talk with uh, Kiwi. Who is uh, absolute at the gall. Wow. <laughs> Remy, who do you wish to speak to? Oh, that's a, that's a question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Can you come back? Can we do panic next? Nope. Fucking, all right, you Willow. You rolled initiative. Okay. Fucking <laughs> damn it. You know, in 3-5, <laughs> they used to let you pass your initiative, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, yeah, but this is 5th edition, so. Yeah, well, oh, you know. Shit. Uh, you Get see Willow currently uh, talking with, um, at the moment, talking with uh, Kikanamaru, K, the middle district captain. Uh, and they're kind of discussing as you approach. Willow turns and goes, Remy! Just gonna hug the shit out of her. Oh, <laughs> careful, I'm just gonna spill! Big, big squeeze, don't care. Oh. Don't care about the grink. Oh, gosh. Careful. I My dress, well, it's the best I can do for now. Don't worry, I have spells for that. It's, oh my goodness, it's so good to see you! It's good to see you as well. I've been uh, busy. The potion assembly line hasn't quite, um stopped but i'm glad to have made time for the wedding she kind of like rubs the top of the glass i'm How are glad you? you were able to make it How and you okay doing? you're looking great thank you <laughs> she kind of gives she's wearing her uniform she kind of gives you a nod uh willow kind of turns and goes how are you doing since everything surprisingly well it's um, good yes it's um I don't want to say that I have the weight of my the world on my shoulders, but it certainly feels like having saved the world, it's no longer there. <sighs> it's incredible to think I met them when I was I just arrived here and they saved my life and saved it many times. Maybe too many, and she sips her wine and kinda <laughs> her eyes look to the side. Ramil take a sip of his of his ale. Funny, we met them in completely opposite ways. I saved their lives. They fell out of the sky. Hm. That sounds like them. Sure does. Little did I know that that would be the beginning of the end. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Phrasing is a thing. Kind of cocks your head, not really quite fully understanding. She goes, Don't worry, it's a, you had to be there. I assume so. It's the way it seems with you lot, but either way... <sighs> Well, what are your plans? Are you going to stay, or...? Uh, I've heard that the Griffin Riders are making a new, well, military contingency of the, the Golden Vanguard Griffin Riders, and well, I imagine you'd want to be at the forefront of that. I, I'm certainly going to be around to help Alavast and to help the Griffin Riders, but uh, considering everything that's happened and everything that we've endured, I think I'm going to be a little bit selfish. Of course, I'll help Avery however she needs, but there's something I need to do. Are you going home? Kind to of. Your... Hmm. I... It's kind of nice. Did I ever tell you that I know my father is alive? He is. Yes, he's in Alton somewhere, and I intend to find him. Alton is a big place. I hope you can. Well, I've already alerted Valithia that he still lives, and hopefully with some of their assistance we'll find him somewhere. Mm. But I intend to find him. I intend him to bring him back to Alavast and do what I can for him while still helping the city. I know a tad selfish, but I'm trying to balance everything. 
You're going to be selfish by helping somebody else. That's not selfish, Remy. But I'm doing it for me. That's okay. Anyway, it's... I'm excited about what the future holds. I am too. She kind of leans over and goes, the egg hatched. <gasps> what was in the egg? What's its Thank name? Uh, her name is Coroner. Doros mm. named her. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I have right. to come by and see them. Oh, mm. my God. Ronaldo's babysitting at the moment, so oh. I could make it here, but... Mm -hmm. For what it's worth, you're going to be a fantastic mother. Well, I hope that I... The accidents don't carry over to my child. That's I, probably... You know, something tells me your parental instincts are going to kick in. Now, Doros, on the other hand, I, I worry about the big man. I do too, a little bit, but I think he's... I think he'll be okay. Just remind him he's very large and the child is very small. Well, I think... His upbringing has him well trained. <laughs> oh, now I can't get it out of my head. I want to see him rock the cradle. Oh, my goodness. It's very cute. It oh, is very, very, very cute. But I, hopefully in your travels, Elmer, if you intend to go to Valithia and intend to return, if you wouldn't mind, just... I know I want my hands washed of it, but... I hope whatever state it's left in is to the people's benefit. The Lithia is getting a fresh start, thanks to the Silver King's intervention, and I believe Eltmer is in the same position. And I can assure you, there will be a day when I will go home, and I will do what is necessary, and I will make sure that what happened in Eltmer never happens again. You have my word. I think it ended in Alavas. <laughs> anyway. But don't worry, we'll have plenty of chess games before I leave. Good. I need to beat you 50 uh, times over. I will have you know, I have defeated the incredible Willow at chess, so I'm feeling quite confident that I could do it again. <laughs> well, not at a wedding, but perhaps. Oh, in no, the of course not. Decorum and all. Mm -hmm. But I will leave you ladies to your conversation. Kay, please, by all means, loosen up. It's a party. Excuse me. What? Captain Brock is drinking. Someone has to stay sober. Right, don't let it be you. What are you, crazy? Enjoy it. We save the world. <sighs> oh, you cheated gonna... death. This is nothing. <laughs> kind of sighs and hops as you walk away. I tell you, it's some military officials and the sticks up their behinds. I don't understand. He's just going to smile and wink at her. <laughs> she rolls her eyes and just continues her conversation. And he will make his leave. All right. Panic. Who would you like to talk to? <laughs> and then I counterspelled him. <laughs> I know. I know, right? Okay. No, it was good talking to you. I'll see you later. Bye. Uh, bye, bye. And... bye. Yep. Yep. Uh, and he'll turn around and he'll uh, down the rest of his drink and he'll um, look around for wherever Helena might be. Uh, she is currently, the, the dancing is kind of subsiding in between songs and you see her kind of exiting the dance floor and she actually catches your eyes and she kind of waves and walks over towards you. Panic. Helena? Hi. Good to, it's good to see you. It's good to see you too. It's been... Gosh, I never thought I'd see the actual sun again with how much time we were underground. Yeah, it's good. It's all, it's all finally over. She just, get, she just gives you the biggest hug, just like. I'll hug her back. I'm sorry about everything. No, it. a lot of it was my fault. keep asking myself, what now? <laughs> yeah, well, we can't have everything figured out. It's going to take time for Periton to heal, even with Soliandris there. Yeah. Like a lot of things I've learned, it takes time. But 
with the right helping hands, I can go a little bit quicker and get done a little bit more solidly. What do you intend to do? Well, I think after everything calms down, I want to go globetrotting a little, little bit. Well, Start sorry. playing. Yeah. You know, I came to Alavast initially to be a musician, and I somehow ended up being a hero. <laughs> sort of fell into that one. <laughs> well, if there's something about arriving at this place with one intention and remaining with another, I would know that. Yeah. Fair enough. I was planning on rounding up a couple of people from the musical menagerie and going on a big band tour of the world. You kind of see her kind of like tapping the side of her glass. You look something just wouldn't happen to need another singer, would you? You know, the one time I was going to hear you sing, I didn't get to, so. I had a bit of stage fright. Also, you and Doros were there. <laughs> I know, right? Doros, so judgmental, so such high standards about uh, music and singing. Did I ever, did you ever tell me what he is? I don't remember. What is he? <laughs> He's like, you see Doros dancing, Doro? just kind of side to side. You mean a Goliath? Goliath, okay. Yeah, big gray dude, same as Zeus. Oh, okay, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, huh. they're sort of like a northern people. Interesting, we don't have them in Periton. Mm. Well, I know Zarv but... would probably want to come along. <laughs> yeah, Zarv. He's Haven't scratch. gotten to play with him much. Mm -hmm. hmm. Um, maybe Ivy, I don't know. A lot of people want to leave this place. Yeah. Are you one of those people? I think I want to see more of the world, too. Well. I think two singers would suit me quite well. <laughs> if you'll have me. A duet sounds nice, yeah. <laughs> I've always liked harmonies. Well, uh, right. It sounded real good. Mm -hmm. He'll sort of like slowly reach his hand to the middle of the table. Hover <laughs> hand. <laughs> it's just like you, you guys are not standing. You guys are standing up currently. You're not at a table at the moment. Oh. Yeah. You're kind of standing next to each other at the moment. Like she's right next to you. I'll I'll get a bit closer to her then, just like. An, like an inch closer. <laughs> Remy was wondering if the tiefling could blush. And his his cheeks are bright red. So I know you're not a big fan of crowns and big public displays. He looks up towards you and you catch her eye. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'm going to say it. Can we kiss? She puts her glass down. Sure. And she brings up her hand around the back of your head and you guys kiss very passionately. And Panda okay. kisses her back. Time feels like it stops. Appropriate that there are fireworks going on in the Yeah, audio. I was about to <laughs> say. <laughs> that, the, the accidental music cues are the freaking Calculated. best. <laughs> the best. And... Oh, so good. And as your lips part, she looks up at you and goes, You're amazing. 
And I love you. I love you too. Now come on, let's dance. And she grabs both your yeah, arms and drags there you we go. the dance floor. See, I knew you had a fire inside of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I want the camera to pan out and there's Tass like about to take shot and he just like hands it back to Winter. I really got to put these away. <laughs> <laughs> she nods and like puts the hand on the crossbow and like like puts it on the table like you know uh. taking a kid's toy away at the dinner table just like no, no more trucks <laughs> um but as you say that winter does turn to task and she holds up the bouquet and kind of shakes it and kind of go like now is the time i uh i whistle out uh into the crowd Oh, oh shit! Scarbles kind of runs over it. <laughs> everyone, shut the fuck up! And everyone shuts the fuck up. <laughs> As customary with. Oh, sorry. No, 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 you go ahead, you go ahead. Tess, like, shouts out. As customary with most other humanoids, it's time to catch the bouquet. All right, who wants to join in the catching of the bouquet? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, fuck it, let's go. Yeah, right, Remy's panic. gonna Remy's gonna go out there. Fuck it. Panic, Greckles, and Remy is in. Yep. Uh, hey, you, hey, money. Yep. I want to do something devious. I want to see if I can sleight of hand my invisible mage hand to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! All right. Unfortunately, this is an initiative count. This is not. Oh a boy. Oh shit. Oh. Uh, joining in as well. Da, da, da. Keikana Maro as well. Helena. And... Mm. Well, this is initiative. I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm, as well. I'm wearing the shirt, though, so maybe I'm due. All righty. Oh, I'm echoing back in someone's mic. That was interesting. Oh, I hope it's not me. Uh-oh. Mm. I need everybody to roll initiative. Come on, ready. ready. Come on, buddy. 23. Oh, that's playing good. again. That's really good. Ooh. 22. Whoa. Oh. All right, Remy. Remy, if you got one more in you. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, oh. It's all right. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. So as Winter stands on top of the table, because why not? She's a kobold. She turns her back to the audience and whips the bouquet into the air. There's a mad dash in a moment and Greckles calculating every proper <laughs> step to take. You leap into the air and snatch the bouquet and land on the ground in a three-point landing and hold it aloft as the audience erupts into claps. I'm taking my destiny into my hands. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, the blue blur strikes again. I guess you can't count yourself out just yet, huh? No, Broar gave me a really good idea. And, mm. uh, I have a use for this, I think. Ho hold on, hold on. Commander Bronzefang gave you a good idea. He's actually quite good at that, Remy. I just never really, uh, could admit it to myself. I... Panic, did we screw up the timeline, or am I dreaming? <laughs> I think I think that weird ball did more to him than I thought. Oh, my goodness. Good Thanks, on you, Greg. Connor. Thank you for calling my final <laughs> boss a weird yes, ball. Yes, final <laughs> boss, a weird <laughs> ball. Look at the funny little ball. <laughs> <laughs> funny miracle matter go burr. Look, when you survive the death, end is like, I'm just a funny little guy. You, you get to make. with me? <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh is there anything else you guys would like to do as the wedding festivities continue uh are we still in initiative are we gonna go back yeah. around we are yeah we right. are um i figured the other half of the conversations could happen after the wedding unless okay. there's anything pressing at this moment nah. that can only uh happen during the wedding essentially nah my my the, my, the rest of my stuff can wait Everybody else okay? Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. So, the cake is traded out. Some people get really drunk. Others do not. <laughs> uh, there's dancing and partying, gift giving, 
all manner of festivities, and slowly but gently, individuals begin to peter out as night takes the city of Alabast. And that is where we will take our break. Oh, hold on. Lou. So I, I just need to do this real quick. For the last time, welcome into the Bosco Halftime Show, guys. Oh, man. Hello. That's, uh, yeah, this is, this is it. Whoo! Thank you to the 1,700 people that are here right now. Oh, Holy Jesus. my God. Holy, hang on. Holy moly. So, so Chad. Lordy uh, Lou. Oh. How how is it feeling to ha not have one but two natural ships sail off? It's true. Well, Hot three. Damn. He caught the bouquet. Yeah, three. Technically three. Three. Mm -hmm. All three ships went a sail today in this last half hour. Chat I, I, finally I, I got their ship. In, I popped into the live chat in our Discord, and they're just going they nuts. Went nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to the Discord. I was talking with some folks earlier before the episode, and shout out to everybody who's over there right now, hanging out, doing their thing. Special thanks to Theropod for the bouquet image. Oh, my God. <laughs> the dude with the bouquet in his mouth, and he's like covered in blood. Yeah. <laughs> Greckles went through hell for this. What happened? I, Somebody bumped I, into him. He has no health left. I, I completely forgot that Thero was a thing when I said, oh yeah, Tass might want to go out and find a T-Rex. Oh, wait, that's right. Thero's here. <laughs> oh, God. You all are such a blessing. Never ever think that you're not. No. Oh, Thank my you guys God. For being here. This is a blast. And we're only oh, halfway yeah. done. Oh, we still got another, like, hour and a half with these characters. Yeah, we still got hour a hour and a half. Left. Yeah. Oh, there's good. We're gonna fill all the time, guys. I, bro, I, I, I honestly feel like I've just reached like a hundred percent with task. I'm like, I'm kind of like now at that point. I'm. It's, it's, it's nice, but also it's kind of like just jarring. I'm just like, wow. I'm at. I don't know what to do now at this point. The, um, the, the task, the Cobalt Ranger, one hundred percent speed run is complete. Well done. No, this is the, this is the two hundred eleven percent. We did mirror mode too. Oh, Wait, wow. but you got, which, wow, which wow, you got wow. new game plus to do. No, I like, already got to your zoo. We did oh True Arena. Did you not just fucking see it? That was last week. No, you got to go get your dinosaur. No. Restart the campaign from the very beginning, but we're all the same level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> I'm doing squats. I, I can fucking snipe uh, fucking... Uh, what's his face? I can snipe that dude's head off again. Just one I shot could, him. I could slam a tornado. <laughs> you could dry up a sea? Yeah. Oh. And you must live for the moment. <laughs> I was, I'm not, I can't, we would do the whole song. I would do the whole song, I had to stop. <laughs> See, that, that was a contest of who could end the song first. Holy Good shit, song. man. Fine, there ain't no one greater than me. There, I said it. Fucking damn it. Apparently there's a bingo going on in the uh live channel. No, no, no. Miss Tweetum set up a uh end game bingo. Shout out the live chat before we started. Like we just did. We're like, what happened to this obscure character? And I'm like, if you bring up an extremely obscure character, I'm just gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah. Oh they no. Fell out of a blimp. Yeah, died. Instantly. They died in the siege. <laughs> I'm just joking. I should probably switch this over to the slideshow page. So I think everybody is other half of what they want to do. Would be ideal. I think. Okie okay, dokie. And then see where we're at. Yeah, at nighttime. And then see where we're at at that point, And then lead into the thingy I have. Right on. <laughs> Monty was indeed not choking. You don't know Cheru. Oh, or God. maybe you do. <laughs> I was what, what? Who, who could say about the pushing characters out of a blimp joke? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Zito, stop. Go away. All right, but... Huh? Also, thank you guys to all your... Like, I was about to read some bits and subs, but there's just... Y'all are pouring it on. I can't... I don't even know where to start. Like, it's insane. I will say, though, from earlier... Uh, let me see if I can get back to it. Oh, gosh. Move this. Why is there a pole in my way? How dare? Who put this here? Oh, God. Why is it nighttime? I'm going to say I'm still not ready because I'm not. I agree with most of the people in the chat. Did I miss something? It's nighttime now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. We the were at a wedding in the morning. That's the worst. <laughs> so the rest, the rest of this will be, uh, the rest will be happening, occurring at night. Uh, if you're all okay with that. Vanvoves. 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 And then where was the fucking sweet dragon? <laughs> Dracania. Not Dracania. Oh my god, uh, yeah, the Awoo boys are out. That's gonna be the opener for Panic Show. The Awoo boys. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to be a pop band. Sorry, I'm just enjoying, I'm enjoying a drink. We can get back into it once everyone's good to go. Yep. Uh -huh. Oh, Zan is in the live chat. He sure is. Are Witter and Tass going to have pink babies? You know what? Wow. That's I don't, I don't so, see why not. I'm just going to shout out these names real quick because these have been the top donors so far. Thank you for the 5,021 bits, Dusty Bone. Uh, Brandon, thank you for the 5,500 bits. Or 5,550 bits. Gundam Gamer, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Uh, Lunos, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Blue Kaios, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Uh, Ganford Knight, thank you for the 10,000 bits. Draconian, thank you for the 10,001 bits, you cheeky dog. Uh, Majin Goku, thank you for the 11,500 bits. Uh, Segordo, thank you for the 20,000 bits. And <laughs> Cows Gorbit, thank you so much for the 66,000 bits. Much appreciated. Jeez. Thank you, Sheep, for the 10 subs. I see you. Man. I just wanted to call out those top ones that got buried. Thank you, everybody, so much for all of your generosity. This is incredible. This is the second week in a row, and you guys have been so awesome. Also, uh, I think it's worth mentioning, but thanks for everybody who showed up for the charity stream on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. By the Wild. way, update on that. In total. In yep. total. Yep. Uh... Gamers Outreach raised. Hang on, I'm going to the going to the Twitter just to get oh. my numbers correct. In well, total, oh here we go. In total, Gamers Outreach uh, raised one million fourteen thousand one hundred thirty dollars and twenty eight cents. No, you know what? No, no, no. But hold on. Read the number that we donated specifically. Yeah. Uh, I believe we. I'm going to go find oh, it. Man. Hang on. I, got, on. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I, I, have got... I have it. I got you. I'm going to go find it. Uh... Uh, we raised $15,656.69. Nice. nice. Yeah. That's Hot you damn. guys. That's you guys. That was you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for helping us with that. That was, that was... crazy. We Dude, blew th we blew past my expected amount that we made. And, uh, <laughs> oh my god, Connor! Hmm. What? Alpharat did it. Alpharat made the AEW All Elite. Remus Corbeau is All Elite. I'm oh my so god! Happy. Yeah, I did. I did saw it. that. I saw that. Oh my god! You beautiful bastard! Remus Corbeau is All Elite. <laughs> hey man, we're getting future endeavored. I'm bringing him into the multiverse. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. I think the highlight for me was the appearance of the gazebo. That was pretty good. Gazebo? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah they, 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 one, of the, one of the effects is that when basically the donations affected weather and during the high speed wind part, a, a, like a gazebo that was picked up by the wind slams into the party. And so, <laughs> and it hit a bunch of people. And then I joked and I'm like, if we get to a certain amount, I'll bring back the gazebo like to fight for the party. And it showed up with a fucking sword, and then for an additional a thousand on top of that, it would talk, and it it was it sounded like Christopher Walken. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, hello there, everyone! I'm here to save you from <laughs> you the know, evil. you know, the fucking I'm gazebo here. sword that did one d one hundred damage. <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 gazebo of destiny and the the sort of the sort of gazebo. And then there, yeah, and then at a certain point, uh, one of the clouds got a gun, so there was a gun cloud. <laughs> 
And for the final boss fight, it would shoot people with its gun. Also, holy crap, shout out to Darky Arts, who just did portraits of all of us and posted oh. it during the break. Oh, oh shit. my oh. goodness. Darky. Those are so good. Oh, Yo, hold up. I gotta see this. Shit. You need to go just go look at Darky Arts' oh, page. Oh, fuck yeah. It's oh, insane. Damn. Oh, I love the aspect frame. It's so good. Oh. I just let me see. There should be a way for me to grab this real quick. Just I'm gonna put it in. Yep, put it in chat. Thank you guys so much for all the artwork, by the way. Like, oh yeah, right now Fuck on yeah. the live stream, like we had so much wonderful, wonderful art come in, and even even Heartsy, who organizes our slideshow, is like, "Yo, dude, like the art coming in is like so nice." Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. All right. Are you guys ready to get back into no. it? No. Yeah, I guess. Man. All right. I think we're good to get back in once whoever that is stops typing so furiously. Sorry, that was me, and it's not furious. <laughs> well, furious? Hold on. Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You want fun? Why do you show you fun? All right. Hmm. Freckles, as hmm. the as the wedding procession ends, you see Skinny sweeping up and cleaning up along with. Uh, Scarbles, and you walk over and join Helga at the countertop as she is cleaning glasses and stacking them up in a very well articulated tower. Heck of a party, huh? Yes, yeah, weddings are always so exciting. At least here, no one dies. Wait, what? Back where I come from, people died during weddings. I did not know this. <laughs> Was that a ritualistic thing, or...? No, it was an accident thing. Oh. Huh. Lots of warriors, lots of alcohol, lots of pointy, sharp weapons. Things happen. Well, how are you doing, Helga? I am relieved. I am happy that you came home. You know, I, I know we don't talk about it all that much, but you've done a lot for us, and I really do appreciate that a whole lot. I have. I've done a lot. But, well, thinking about it right now, I could not see myself doing it for anyone else. There are times where I wondered about quitting, going to other place with better opportunity, but... <sighs> she kind of looks at the giant hole in the building. <laughs> Something about this place just feels like home. That reminds me, are there any uh, unique wines, ales, or brews that I should go be fetching? Gives just a wink. Well, rumor is there's now a road running through Elevast to the Undersun, so I hope to restock on my lovely mushroom wine, which seemed to be quite popular tonight, especially among one Mr. Ronsvang. Yeah, he hit that sauce pretty hard. We've made enough friends. We have many people lining up to sell us ale. And to say that the sweet dragon, despite its... <laughs> she, like, points to the hole in the wall, and you watch as another tile just <laughs> lands on the ground. <laughs> A window from another building falls off of <laughs> Despite all that, well, the Sweet Dragon has become quite the popular establishment. I, um... I, uh... No, the hell's with it. If I get punched, I get punched. He goes in just for, like, immediate hug. Like, she not... Freezes. There's like a moment of pausing, and like you hear Scrabbles go, Oh, 
<laughs> like in the background. And she kind of lifts up a hand and gives you a pat twice on the back. And she goes, you're a good kid, Greckles. You're a dumb, stupid, accident-prone, troublemaking kid. I know. What? You're my kid. And, and you don't get the choice in that. I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I'd never had a mother figure in my life. and He hasn't let go, by the way. Yeah, she's holding you. I never had a mother figure in my life. I never had anyone who would look out for me like that. And for what it's worth, it made a lot of difference to me. I think it did for all of us, but especially me. I expect a card and flowers on Mother's Day from now on. Hey, you better believe it. With many back payments included. And she kind of puts one of the tankards up. She kind of looks, she goes, This place will continue when I'm gone. When we're gone. Take pride in that, Grickles. I will. And you take pride in your work. I and do. Everything you do. You're saying that I do not? I do. Every single day, every twist of my cloth in a glass, I take pride. But I am also proud of you. And she looks side to side. But do not tell the tiefling. No, I won't. Does the, the cross heart gesture with, with one other hand up. <laughs> it will go straight to his head. Hmm. Uh, hey, y'all, you might want to come look at this, you hear Skinny say. What's up, Skinny? Up. As as you walk over, Task and Greckles. Remy, you head home for the night after the wedding procession, making your way through the city streets. There is all manners of stock of stone and wood being used for repairs. You see places where fire damage has happened. You see... Uh, walking by, you see even like a dead gold dragon being kind of toted out in like this sort of convoy through the city because it's empty right now and it's the best time to move it. There's all manner of hustle and bustle. And as you make your way home, opening the door, your mother turns and goes, Remus. Mother. Remy's just going to run and hug her immediately. She gives you a big hug. She goes, how was the wedding? Uh, it was... Emotional. Um, they looked very happy. <laughs> she kind of fixes your, your, your feathers on your face a little bit. <laughs> Come on. I, <laughs> Listen, you may grow up, but you're always my son, and your feathers are out of line. I know, well, all right. You need to preen earlier when you're yes. molting. Yes, mother. <sighs> you seem like you have something on your mind. Uh, I, well, I told you I wanted to find Father. I, I, I feel like that's the most appropriate thing for me to do, but you know, seeing the wedding and seeing you know, Greckles talk about Sully and Panic and Helena finally kissed, I, I, I... You want to get married? Well... Well, yes, but, uh, well, you know how it is. We're supposed to forward the family line, and it's supposed to mean something more than just love. It's Remus. supposed to... And she puts a hand on your shoulder. What you've done, you can have whatever happiness you want. Nothing else would make us prouder. You mean you know I, I, I? Whatever I want. Thin reason. She kind of pats your cheek a couple times. No, well, yeah. Don't go kidnapping anybody. <laughs> she kind of no, ruffles well, her feathers. Well, well, all right, fair. All right. <laughs> I think that the state of Philippia now, we don't have to worry about such things, okay, Remus? And you've already done so much for everyone in the world, more than any noble possibly could. And you've done your duty. You don't have to sacrifice your personal life any longer. 
but if you are going to look for him, I would like to come with you. I think you should all come. It's important. It's... Lucio and your sister have made bonds here, and I think they wish to remain. And to say I would like a, well, a drop in the bucket here would be an understatement because, well, someone has to run. And she kind of waves at her shop a little bit. Uh, that's fair. But I would uh, like to come with you. I would. That would mean a lot. I'd like to not do it alone. But she puts a hand on your hand. I want you to be ready to go. Okay. Of course. We know your father is safe. There's no need to rush. I know. And there's still so much to do in Alavast before the, the riders and the city needs to be rebuilt. And I have to talk with Brock about his racial inclusion program. The, the army needs to be expanded. And there are good mm. fighters. It just. Sorry. It's OK. We'll do it together. And you will not be alone. Okay? But don't do anything stupid. I'm worried your friends might have rubbed off on you. She rustles your hair a bit. <laughs> I promise you the stick is still firmly wedged up my backside, as Panic likes to remind me. Half a stick would be fine. I'm working on the half a stick, yes. She got you, sir. She's like looking at you, and then you see her eyes wander, and she goes, What, what is that? Looking outside of the window. Hmm? And as you turn to look, Panic. Where do you go after the wedding? Um, Panic would probably be taking a walk through the street at night. Um, if if he and Helena just sort of broke off at one point for her to go home or something, mm -hmm. he probably he probably would have. Uh, not followed and let her be, depending on what she wanted. Um, yeah, she probably would have wanted to go to sleep. Have a yeah, night, fair enough. That sort of deal. Um, so he would be walking through the street at night, and he'd just sort of be lost in his thoughts a little bit. Uh, this is the same day, so he already gave the... It is. Uh, it's the nighttime. He already gave the sending stone to Grekel, so he can't do one of the things he wanted to do. Um, he probably... Uh, well, he probably head to the Musical Menagerie, actually. Okay. As you make your way walking to the Musical Menagerie, something... You, your eyes meet a puddle on the floor as you're walking. And you see the sky, something... Shum. Shum, 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 shum. What? As all of you in your respective homes and locations look up at the sky, you see stars moving and shooting through the air with streaks of light. And you see people now looking outside their homes and opening their windows, looking up towards the sky as the universe's first meteor shower occurs. Remy, as you're standing with your mother, she opens the door and you both exit outside and she goes, what on earth is that? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. You watch Task and Greckles as you're in the Sweet Dragon. Helga walks over and is like, literally is cocking an eye as she's still cleaning glass. And Skinny goes, uh, are we safe? What does this mean? I don't know. I've, it's like the stars are moving rapidly. And you watch as all the city alights as individuals walk out into the streets. Like, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? and look up at the sky as all of these stars begin to alight and move, streaking through the air gently in not a scary motion, but there are some people who are like, is the sky dying? And other people are like, 
the gods, the gods are speaking with us. And there's a general sort of hubbub about the city as this is happening. And panic, as you stand looking up at the sky, you hear a voice behind you. Dust drifting, directionless, divine. And as yes. you turn around, you see standing a tiefling, kind of. They have long kind of horns, but their body is almost tiefling-esque. Um, they stand in similar to your height, um, but in dawned on their, on their face is a white porcelain mask that you recognize. And their physical body is covered and hidden under what seems to be a cloak of starlight, almost, of divine light. And they step forward towards you and they go, hello, Panic. It is nice to see you again. And speak properly for the first time. If? In a flesh of sorts. I don't have much time. I must return what? to Lai's End before the night is done, but... Lai's End? What? You do not remember, and so it must be. You do remember. not know it. You do not know it, but you had helped give birth to a new god. Greckles and Task, as you stand in the Sweet Dragon Tavern, you hear a uh, task you hear behind you. Not even a month has passed and you're already getting married? Oof. And as you turn around, task, you see a kobold, a kobold made of divine light, standing, kind of eating a piece of cake, wearing a porcelain mask that you recognize. And Greckles, as you turn, you see a kenku, similar in form, similar garb, wearing a porcelain mask, going, well... Take it from me, their marriage was always written in the stars. And as you turn and see them, notably Helga, Skinny, and Scarbles do not notice these individuals as you turn and see them. And Hi. Remy, as, as you stand in a crowd with your mother, you look to your side and you see a fortune teller dancing cards around in his hand and looking towards you without saying a word as the star shower continues. Ith kind of approaches closer to you, Panic, and goes, when we were divided from you, we were frightened. We did not know what would happen at the end of the world, but and if kind of looks at the sky, Task, you look at Eos, who looks back at you and goes, but it seems as though the new god had other plans for us instead of casting us into oblivion. And Kai turns to you, Greckles, and speaks. Our connection to the material plane makes us emissaries of sorts. We are now celestials of the god Lies End. The first four. Those that walked among mortals and fought for the freedom of all. Tio kind of walks up to you, Remy, and goes, I suppose I feared for nothing then. The black card. It wasn't my fate. It was a shield of what could have been. Remus. Thank you. Thank you, Teo. I thought you didn't give out refunds. <laughs> there are no refunds. Well... There is... sometimes. We can keep it our little secret, because it's very good to see you. It's good to see you as well. They look up at the star shower. 
I must leave now. No matter where you go, you'll always be a Corbeau. <laughs> no matter where I go, you'll always be a stiff. <sighs> Remy's going to pull out the original deck of cards, if he still has them, that he took from Tio. Mm -hmm. Are they still in his pocket? Yep. I was going to give these back, but it appears you already have some. So I'm keeping them. No That's refunds. Good. Those ones are garbage. I got new ones from a god. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't know why I tried to play the wits game with you. Take care of yourself, Remus. You too, Tio. And you watch as he steps and disappears into the crowd. Uh... Should we like take turns of yeah. who's gonna speak yeah. to who? Yeah. Let's go with uh let's go backwards, I guess. So let's go with Greckles next. Kai don't know what to say. You you helped fill in every gap in my past that I had and every sense of doubt and anger and frustration just gone and I don't know how to thank you for everything, for protecting me multiple times for reuniting me with my family. I don't even know what to say. I just had a few well-placed words. You did the reuniting on your own. You're the one who took the steps. And you're the one who earned your wings. <laughs> I'm sorry you can't keep them. I'm going to need them where I'm going to be. I got a feeling I'll be okay without them, but again, I just... Thank you so much. It means everything to me. Thank you. Thank you for helping us become reborn. Task. Aos is eating your wedding cake. <laughs> Ash just smiles at that and just like gets closer. Enjoying it, are you? Briefly. To think I would go from service to one god to another. At least this new god is a better fit. Well. But still. Well, be that as it may, enjoy it while you can. You've earned it. My hunt was your hunt. We shared in both equal part. And as such, my happiness is your happiness. Therefore, I wish to give you something. As a true red scale kobold. A trade of a trophy for a long road. Task produces the singular adult red dragon canine he has. I've been told I'm some sort of reincarnation of a red dragon from time past. Eos the takes the fang and kind of looks at it and holds it. And by that proxy, you are as well. Dragons are wonderful, but I find Task the Kobold to be much more impressive. I hold my hand out for the Kobold salute. They take it. They're, when you interact with them, there's like a fuzzy feeling. Not like fur, but like just like a weird sort of staticky feeling when you touch them. There is a solidity to them, but they almost feel like projections in a strange way. As if they're not completely there. Safe oh, journeys, yeah. brother, to wherever star you ride to. And to whatever family you raise and world you fix. And they step back, and you watch as Kai takes off into the air and disappears. And you watch as Helga kind of steps by in a single instance, Eos disappears. Panic, you stand across from Ith, who is still looking up at the sky. If If you can't stay long, I just want you to know that you've helped me so much. Help me reunite with my mother. Help me 
come up with songs and lyrics that I never would even even dreamed of. <sighs> like my own little conscience, but so much more. They step up to you and put a hand on your shoulder. You have found me my voice. You have found me a place to belong. You have taught me this. You watch as its face looks up to the sky. The others might have called you weak, but it was you that was in the heart of the beast, fighting while the others cowered away. And it was you that saved everyone. <laughs> I must ask something of you. Anything. They look up towards the sky. If you find them in passing, welcome them, for now they know it is safe to return. Provide the other aspects? I didn't Goodbye. even consider. Goodbye, Panic Grim Tongue, and good luck with the tour. I want royalties, and they disappear. <laughs> <laughs> As Ith disappears, there's like a crowd gathered around now, right? There is. Everybody's outside their houses watching the stars fall. Panic will look up as Ith fades to away. And he will begin singing. Surfing supported shattered starshine. Dust drifting directionless divine. Screaming, sidelining supernovas, colliding colossi, cracked coronas. You accrued new dues to eschew the slew in view your cue grew. The few in queue were due, you were through and flew. And as the new age rings true and the years come and go, now begins the outro of the unexpectables. In the years that follow, all manner of things occur, but I would like to hand it over to my wonderful players and we are going to go in order of who we have right now here. Starting with, uh, I think, Panic. Start As, with me first, huh? Yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. I'm going through. I'm going to jump down the Discord. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, we lost Cito. Oh, oh shit. He oh. said my PC blue screened. Okay, we'll oh, have to come back. All right. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, this was a perfect time for it to happen. <laughs> it's kind of the perfect time for it to happen. I need a minute. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, that was amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. They are now Celestials. They are now the Celestial Servants to Lysen. Yeah. And there are a bunch of others out there. Mm -hmm. And we have Who no idea how many. many. Yeah. I don't know what that, you They're have no idea clue. what that means. Oh. Oh, God. I'm going to be working on this till the day I die. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Zito. Oh. oh. Wait. Oh. Uh, oh. I, th oh. I think that was the back from prior. Oh, oh. 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 monkey. Oh. oh, it is. It is a back from prior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. my God. It wouldn't be mm. the final episode if we didn't have a tech problem, honestly. Like, it's <laughs> true. Like, <laughs> I woke Go up out the way you can. and I'm wait, like, we I gotta can't do, wait. We gotta do the Taurus screen one more time. Yeah. Mike, put it up, put my, a Taurus screen up. Fucking... Yeah. Hello? Yeah, Hello. you're here. You're in. Hey, there we go. My way. PC fucking blue screened at the outro. Can you oh, God. Your audio well, and just stand what in. audio? It's fucking gone. No, oh, it's good. okay. Yeah. Oh. We'll get Hold it. Hold on. Let me, let, me, let me see if Wade uh, yeah, Fan actually saved it. Recover. Yeah, sometimes it does. Okay, it did. It did. We went to oh, that closing. Okay. All right. We get to do a sync, a final sync with Chad. Oh, final sync oh, with Chad. Are you ready, guys? Oh. Last yeah, one. Go. Let us Hold on. Know let me let me start ready, up. Though. Let me start up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, 
Wait, hold on. Save is your it going... save your save your shit first, and then we can sync up. So don't don't worry. It's all good. Oh. Okay. All right, you good to go? Hello. Uh oh. Are you good? Are you good? Oh no. Did we lose Zito? Did again? he crash again? I'm gonna oh, laugh boy. so hard if that happened oh, again. God. Are you kidding oh, me? I won't. No. Oh my god. Oh, no. Oh no, he's typing. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh no! Blue oh, no. screen no. again. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Zito's man. computer is like not today. We're not ending. No, Zito's computer doesn't want Unexpectables to end, and it's having a hissy. Shit. Zito's computer yeah. is holding the campaign hostage. It's true. <laughs> oh God! Oh no! <laughs> Zito's computer is like levels thirteen through twenty, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a perfect ending. Like that 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 is the piece that is a stance for us. Like I woke up this morning and I'm like, I can't wait for my power to go out in the like the final episode. Like I'm this like, that's is the, gonna happen. Uh, and I, like if nothing if nothing happens, I'm gonna be legitimately surprised. So this is the shenaniganery that happens uh, when you catch the unexpectables live. Yeah. Uh, really on twitch.tv slash the unexpectables. <laughs> you can't get this in the podcast, folks. It's yep. it's all good. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's it's manageable. We can take a little little short break here. Yeah, we'll take a little, a little, a little. Also, oh yeah, if he needs to come. Yeah, over, he's yeah, he's he literally down the street. So if he wants to, if he wants to budge up with me, uh, we we can do that. That could there work too, because you're at the point yeah. where you guys are not going to need your character sheets or anything. No. So no more rolls. No more I'll roles. show you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay, this is irritating, I swear to God. It's okay. If it goes down again, run over to Gaijin's place because we don't need sheets anymore, so... Well, that's that's You're... not what I'm worried about. I'm just worried about the fucking audio at this point. It's okay. Austin can get it from, from the VOD if need be. All right. Yeah. Now, totally... now hold on. Let, let's, let, can we just give this, like, five minutes so my computer yes. doesn't decide to blue screen a fucking yes. third time? Yes. If it does, yeah. then just head over to Gaijin's. Yep, file, file recovery unsuccessful. It's fucking gone. Uh, it's okay. Dude. It's okay. It's totally fine. Uh. It's okay. <laughs> I was joking, and I'm just like, this is exactly what what should happen for us, because like, I it mean, like the trend we had. This is perfect. We also joke oh. that your computer is holding the campaign hostage because it doesn't want it to end, and yeah. it's pointing a gun to us. Is there any fucking money. point in me recording? Nah. Um. Final sync. Go over. Go over to. Go over to Gaijin's, Maybe just that, go over that, to Gaijin's. That, that no. The. Let's just try one more time. I one guess. more time. Okay. If it crashes, <laughs> go to, go to Gaijin's. Well, I mean, you're only gonna get the last fucking like what twenty five minutes of the episode. It's okay. And okay. It's, okay. it's okay. Yeah, it'll be it's all right. Okay. It's all good. Wow, I can't Listen. believe I. <laughs> it's better. It's There's better fine, here bud. than during the final fight. Honestly. Yeah. 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 Honestly, yeah. I'll let Austin needs to work a little harder. Yeah, he does. <laughs> you know, Whoa! Like he's got to yeah. earn those wood chips in his in his yeah. hamster cage. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. That dude has got like a penthouse cage now all righty you get to go okay. it, it's it's going all right all right one two three sink sink, sink. one two three sink sink, sink. sink. one two three sink. Sink. sink sink all right so it's okay you're totally fine like this is just part of it it happens so as we now discuss the ending of the finale here. I'm trying to think of what music to play because it's really, really, really hard to uh, to think of what to play, but I think maybe nothing is going to really fit. So Panic. What happens with Panic at the end of Unexpectables, Connor? Got to find, gotta find my notes here real quick. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Now, how, how far into the future are we? Monty. About 15 years, maybe. 15, 18 years. First and foremost, uh, as soon as Panic gets his shit together majorly, before he sets out to see the world, he shows up at the house of one Ozzy and Robso, finally giving a in-person heartfelt apology for the way he treated him in the past. Whether he accepted this or how he reacted to it, 
he just needed to get it off his chest. Over the next few decades, Panic and Helena's relationship would deepen. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this in character. Yeah, do it in character. Like, like Fallout. Over the next few decades, Panic and Helena's relationship would deepen. And eventually, the two would settle down, having a small private wedding with friends and family in attendance. They would eventually have two children, Creed and Zarvir, two boys that would carry on the name of the Grimtongue family. He'd returned to his home in Tracadia after wrapping up his business in Alabast with the intent of reconciling with his family and also hoping to help his parents come to terms with the mistakes they made in the past and, with any luck, finally beginning to mend the damage of his fractured upbringing. A constant in Panic's life after the war would be globetrotting and seeing the rest of the world Kickstarting the Saved the World Tour. <laughs> he would hold concerts with the musical menagerie all over the land, showing people that they had made metal and saw that it was good. And throughout all of this, Panic would scour the world for the mysteries behind Omnima, searching for a method to, if not restore him completely, at least ease the growing madness that afflicts his ancestor. For he knows there is still a flicker of good inside of him. At Ith's request, along his path, he would also try to locate any of the scattered aspects that he might come across along his journey. And... Panic Grimtongue, the tiefling bard, rides off into the sunset on another concert somewhere. Okay. Remus Corbeau, where does he go and what does he do after the events of the Unexpected I hate Bulls? that you rhyme that. I, that was an accident. And I just yeah, well, it. it was a happy accident. All right. All right, give me one second. Oh, it's going to be the best acting I do all night. <laughs> Here we go. Remus Corbeau would spend the immediate aftermath of the war helping to stabilize the city before turning his attention to the search for his father, Pandion. Remy, with the aid of Valithia and his mother, Olivia, would track down his once thought to be dead parent. He would focus on nursing his father back to health, while also aiding the city in Alavast in their rebuild and continuing his role as the captain of the Griffin Knights. While still in Alavast, Remus would use his status as a war hero to push Brock Bronzefang's racial integration program forward with a focus on inclusion in the army. He would also hire the Mercs to assist him in finding a cure for the life force stolen from the Unexpectables and himself with a particular emphasis on making sure Greckles would enjoy his post-war retirement, though he was rather disappointed to find they had found a new fourth member. In time, Remy would return to Valithia to follow in his father's footsteps, aiding his home nation in their rebuild and reclaiming his rightful place as the leader of the Raven Knights. Alongside Avery and the Riders, Remy and Volo helped to train a group of Riders in Valithia, giving birth to the Griffin Knights. Once back home in Valithia, Remy reconnected with a childhood friend, a Kenku he grew close to before the Eltmo War, eventually earning the approval of both parents to marry for love, not obligation. All of the Unexpectables were invited to the wedding, with Greckles serving as the best man. To this day, Remus Corbeau acts as the right hand of the king, advising the new ruler of Valithia as his father once did, and ruling in his stead. Even in his older age, 
Remy insists on making frequent trips to Alavast whenever possible. Café Corbeau still remains open. He's made time to catch many of Panic's tours around the world and has checked in on Task and his son often. He too now has two children, a boy, Theo, and a girl, Willow, both of whom he is teaching the Corbeau family creed. Pay forward your fortune, defend those in need, and never die easy. Greckles. <clears throat> Get this up here. Greckles, um, Tobikage, having sacrificed so much of his life force to stop the end, would likely be in no shape to adventure much anymore his body wouldn't be able to take the blows. Instead, he would turn his attention to the one thing that has been on his mind since near the beginning, Soliandris. As his words held, he would stay by her side as long as he could, following her even to her new position in Periton, where he would act as her advisor, assistant, fellow cleric, and loving husband. Though theirs would be a relationship of love, respect, and care, their relationship would also act as a symbol of the new Orn clergy, that all creatures, no matter how much shadow their origins were cast in, are just as welcomed and loved in the light as any other. Though content with the life of a cleric, Tobikage would lament his inability to fight in the way that he used to, at times feeling worthless and, una and unable to help Sully in the fullest capacity he used to. Some even say he went on another adventure to finally find a way to rid himself of the curse of the end. But in the grand scheme of things, it never came close to affecting the relationship that he had with Sully, his new responsibilities as a cleric, or the peace that he had finally found. The protection of Alavast, his friends, those he loved, he knew that it would come at a cost. He had already made peace with that fact that he would easily have given up his life to save what he had loved. That is, after all, what he believed was the most noble and right. He considered himself blessed to see everything he loved safe and a peaceful, loving future in front of him. Task, what does your future hold? Task of Iron Oath had finally passed on. However, in the ashes, like a phoenix, Rose Task of Alavast, a kobold reborn, brand new, ready to live life the way to the fullest that he had never been able to experience for most of his childhood. Married to the love of his life, 20 years into the future, the Iron Oath Memorial Zoo now stands within the lower district of Alavast, often serving as a small entertainment area for those just entering into the Alavast itself, and also as a small business venture. Mooncite Circus is certainly not going to get their gelatinous cubes any other way, I assume. Though, through it all, Task did observe most of his newfound life as a father to two children, Themesis and Silvervine. His son, versed in the ways of the arcane, much like his sister used to be. And his daughter, who stares into the sky and speaks to the stars, claiming that there is a power that could be reached out to it. Something very similar that Task could share with her. During his time on his escapades out to finding other fa flora and fauna to bring back to Alavast, there are adventures to be had. Wanderlust still rages within Psy Task. One of these adventures leading him to Ruba. Fulfill a promise left to him by Azra Sahar to seek the Red Scale Kobolds, to unite them to see them free, and to see them gain some sort of semblance of happiness, one that he was able to achieve. However, this may not be the most monumental task uh, that task of Alavast will need to uh, overcome. Outside of looking for, oh, say, a magical genie or some sort of artifacts to bring back his allies' stolen vitality, 
what awaits for him back at Alavast is the fact that his son was married and one to that of an Abishai. So, now it's my turn. And you may hoot and holler as much as you want as I read this off. Oh boy. I worked very hard on this and I hope you guys like it. Yeah. Anyway. Abacus didn't change much as the years went by. She kept her position as treasurer of Alabast and still holds that position to this day. Many a meek new adventurer have approached her with hopes of employment. And though she wouldn't admit it, she's happy to welcome each one with hopes that perhaps they will exceed those who have come before. Adric Metalmain and his entire family helped rebuild the entirety of the upper district of Alabast, repurposing the abandoned chains of the attic into four vaunted statues of some ra rather unexpected heroes. Well, with a laugh, he'd correct himself and say, three amazing heroes and one lousy stage builder. Hey. <laughs> Isla and Balfour Balton remained inseparable, and eventually the two would go on to have a child of their own. <clears throat> Isla also remains in Alabast to this day and holds her position in the Alabast Council wisely and firmly. And fortunately for some, her penchant for mischief has never stopped, much to the dismay of many, but none more so than for Brook. After the events of the Periton invasion, Ange made his way back to his grove, Satisfied with his experience in the city, he remains in the mountains to this day, alongside of his beloved goats. He visits Alabast from time to time, and many visit him from time to time, too. No more of his kind are ever discovered, but that is just fine for Ange. In a way, he's found his own kind. Anna and Tony eventually get married and have another child together, a younger brother for Thomas. The two brothers grow up strong and reckless, and soon over time, Thomas's true nature reveals itself. Anna and Tony are sure to be there for the fledgling changeling and accept them no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Arlo surprisingly mellows out as the years go by, <laughs> eventually becoming the commander of the Silver Dragons of Alabast when his yeah. eldest brother eventually retires. Though his pride wouldn't let him admit it, he could never bring himself to leave Alabast, and so he remains to this day. Some even theorize that Arlo has become enamored with a human he once loathed, but no one can say for sure. <laughs> Osphalos became the manager of the Sweet Dragon. His reputation began to precede him as a legend of the Unexpectables, as well as a reputation of fantastic service, lands the Sweet Dragon as the number one tavern in the city. Eventually, yeah. Osphalos would abandon his mask and learn to accept who he is and seek a brighter and more accepting tomorrow. Yeah. Avery became the captain of the Golden Vanguard Griffin Riders of Alabast. Let's a go! A title she oh, loves oh. to boast to her fellow riders. She would also go, go on to create a griffin breeding and riding program with assistance from Winter and the Animal Zoo of Alabast in hopes of having a contingency of griffin riders to work in tandem with the Silver Dragons. Her habit of joy riding would never cease. If anything, she would go on to more joy rides to the city than ever before. <laughs> After the Periton invasion and the loss of Tiengo, every man left Alabast. No one knows why or where they have gone. Some speculate that they may be searching for a way to reconnect with their abandoned offspring, while others believe the lack of Tiengo means every man's power could be easily usurped and they fled before a knife could find their back. In their absence, silence and shadow take over as new leadership of the underbelly, and every man is still missing to this day. But you better believe they took all the hats and wine with them. <laughs> Balfour Balton remains faithful to his beloved Smumplekins to this day. With help from Brork and Remy, he implemented the Armor for All decree that all citizens of Alabast may be considered for placement in the army ranks without discrimination. His yeah. original slogan, violence for all who are willing to get their fists sweat with blood, was firmly rejected by the council. <laughs> You fucking beautiful guns! <laughs> to this day, Balfour Balton leads the Alabast army with pride in his heart and a guffaw on his lips, 
and he hasn't had to fight a bee dragon for any reason yet. <laughs> Seven years after the dawn of the new age, Ben the blacksmith passed away peacefully. His ever faithful uh. apprentice, Big Guy, took over the farrier business in his stead and works hard to make horseshoes for all. Oh, Using what Ben has taught him at every turn, he hopes to keep his spirit alive with his craft. Oriara smiles upon him, and so do the horses of Alabas. Bismati Primtash remains on the Alabas Inquisition to this day. She remains uh, as direct as ever, striving for a better Alabas and never uh, a better self. Uh, <laughs> that is boom. Uh, 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 starts uh, splatting on the screen. You suck. The Northlanders eventually move their settlement southward to reclaim and expand the territories of Alabas to help with the ever-increasing population over the years. Surprising to all as those many years go by, Frelda comes to term with her trauma with bears and eventually comes to accept Halfdan, so much so that the two become married and begin to raise a family of their own. Hey. Nice. Airbrushed abs worked out. Bob remains in the Undersun to this day. His dedication as speaker has increased tenfold as Sally Andrus has taken over leadership of Periton. He speaks of Orin's relief and reignited vigilance over the material plane. Bob also helps with the forging of the Underrun, a tunneled roadway that opens trade between the surface and the denizens of the Undersun. Yo, Bob never yo, learns yeah. that he's not human, and it's <laughs> probably best he never does. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah. Dude, yep. I love him. Oh. Bonray and Clyde remain in Alabas as the first officers of the Golden Vanguard Griffin Rider Brigade. The two would go on to help reform other criminals to a better life in the Golden Vanguard and better food, in their opinion. Thank you. Let's go, Bonray. I knew you had it in you. Borf remains as a middle city guard to this day, much to Keikana Maru's pain. The teasing <laughs> dwarf would eventually be promoted to high city guard as the years go by, a promotion that would be quickly squandered when he repeatedly fails to hand in his reports on time. The, the poor dwarf never learns his lesson when he returns to the middle guard, despite Keikana's insistence. And here's a big one. Brook Bronzefang would find himself returning to Tracadia Tr ten years after the dawn of the New Age, but not before he found himself proposing to and marrying Sionia of the High Ilone Temple. Ooh. The two remain Ooh. married to this day. Yeah, they get married. The two remained, remain married to this day. Bork eventually found himself rising through the ranks, landing as general of the Paladins of Tracadia through his feats of humanitarian efforts, the development of Alavas and his trade, and his strong call for change in the form of his racial inclusion program throughout the land. To this day, he calls all those willing to the cause of justice. He also remains in contact with Sully and Greckles as the three remain fast friends. Yeah, let's go! After gaining a Medal of Honor for his contributions in the defense of the Northern Garrison, Captain Doof returns to Alabas and becomes <laughs> the new yeah! captain. <laughs> captain Doof returns to Alabas and becomes the new captain of the Lower City Guard. Yeah! Oh my Amazing. God. Let's fucking Doof, go. Doof, Lower City, baby. He's protecting the tavern. <gasps> Colette, Caroline, and Peyton Black remain in Wolf's Den to this day, with Colette growing up to be an intrepid adventurer, hungry to seek out the mysteries and lost legends of the Sky Giants of old. Crabius the Mighty continues being a crab, and the world is better for it. <laughs> the best. Beautiful. Cynthia grew up to become an anthropologist on the East, on Eastern Isles histories and myths. Her dedication Beautiful. to her study will bring the uh, her dedication to her study brought the winds of change and took her to the very isles where she remains. She still keeps in contact with Meryl, and the two remain friends. Cool. Diella would join Sally Andrus's side as her second in command, along with Pilchard and Quarion. Diella would reform the theocracy of Periton and become the new law master. With Sally's help, Diella would become a powerful ally and an amazing leader to the people. All of the people of Periton. With Brook returned to Tracadia, Doros found himself in the position as the guard captain of the High District of Alabas. Yes! Let's go! Oh, yeah! Let's go, big guy! A position he holds stoically and well. As for his family life, well, he and Willow would come to raise their adopted Cobalt child with all the love in their hearts, and even named her Corner in honor of his mother. Despite the passing years, Doros would never overcome his shyness towards talking, but his compassion would only grow as new adventures, adventurous individuals would come from all over the world seeking the wonders of Alabast. 
greeting all with a hearty thumbs up. Hmm. Edward and Robzo mysteriously disappeared from Alabas after the oh, city's shit. rebuilding. The disappearance of him, as well as his rumored pocket dimension, has spurred all manner of concern. Some students even claim to see Edward and Robso's shadow haunting the halls of the Nerasmin Collective Library on Crescent Moons. But, but none but the shadows know what happened to the secretive magister, and perhaps that is for the best. Enceladus would remain at the Sweet Dragon, publishing many books such as The Purpose, A Construct's Account, as well as Humans of the West, Accounts of Alabast, and his most famous book, Pigeons. Why like this? <laughs> Not only that, Enceladus and Keikonomaru would eventually find themselves married together, ordained by Log Ooh. himself. Wow. To this day, the two haven't had children, but Enceladus' loyal construct assistant, Mutron, will fill that void for the two of them. Despite what worrisome premonitions Panic Grimtongue harbored, Euphoria Grimtongue did find his father and surprisingly didn't kill him, though the earful <laughs> she gave him was probably much worse. Yeah. And the, to this date, the two have not fully reconciled, but Euphoria would return in Panic's life to help support his music career and make up for lost time best that she can. Floor de Mort and Taylor became closer together. Floor did attempt once to use Taylor's pigeons to spread his seeds around the world, but his attempt was immediately thwarted when it turns out that the seeds would cause the pigeons of Alabas to die immediately. As the years have gone by and through Taylor's guidance and love, the two have helped to find, uh, the two found help through each other's mutual loss and love of Ivan. Though Taylor has a long way to go, they've begun the path that could lead Fleur de Mort to accept humankind and a true human connection once again. Though it may take a long time, it is a good start. Oh, yeah. I'm actually excited about that. Mm -hmm. I guess we don't have to burn the forest down. <laughs> hmm. Fluffy and Skinny would remain at the Sweet Dragon, working hard at the tavern and growing with the tavern's success. The two would go on to buy a lovely home in the Middle District and raise their four rowdy children. <laughs> Frank the Gargoyle remained as the Sweet Dragon's unwavering sentinel. As time went by, the Gargoyle also found some delight in scaring away unruly children who would try and sneak about the tavern's grounds. With the increased traffic of Alavas and after the Periton invasion, Fervain and Athena migrated far north beyond the mountains of repetition to the unknown lands. The two visit Alavas time to time to sell Fervain's paintings to buyers unaware that they are buying art of an enthusiast bronze dragon. <laughs> Gregory remains as an ever-dedicated Golden Vanguard Griffin Rider, but not as much as he is dedicated to his ever-flowing locks and iconic looks, becoming the poster child for the Griffin Rider recruitment campaign. Mm. I want to see mm. that poster yeah. form. Grinelda would remain as Captain Doof's aide in the lower district. She would go on to marry a goldsmith, shopkeep, and raise two children of her own. Oh, here's another big one. Gruel to this day stands as the leader of Bronto Village, and he sired over eight children with his dedicated Holy partner, shit. Audrey. Damn. Despite the amount of children he bore, none were ever born as Tanaroks. Not only this, his animal's husbandry would become a massive success leading to Bronto chickens being worth their weight in gold for their meat quality alone, Jeez. as well as Bronto cows yielding the sweetest milk known to Alabast. Wow. Those chickens are raptors. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Think of the cheese. Chicken. Hammernar <laughs> still remains in Alabast to this day, still being badgered and revered by dwarves and still wanting for that lighthearted elven life. Well, at least now he has Eos in his life. And despite having never met each other, the two get along quite well and are still married to this day. The two work together on magical construction, pocket dimension gates, and interiors. Eos allows Hammernar a much-needed escape from the dwarves, and the two meet regularly for light drinks and pleasant talk. Hasrod would go on to create the Snake Recon Network, an information-gathering spy network that aims to sniff out any threats to Alabas before they take root. Hostrad and Meryl would remain friends, and Hostrad still holds his position on the council despite everyone's protestation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Here, here's a snake on the fucking politics. Let's go. Here's a sad one, though. 
Five oh. years after the dawn of the new age, Helga passed away peacefully in her sleep. Mm. Oh. Years oh. of fighting dragons, bare-fisted, and other feats of impossible strength finally caught up to her. Helga was buried in the Hoketh Temple outside of the city walls there, where she rests today. During the procession, it was assured that the Unexpectables would be the ones to lower her casket into her grave, just to let her down one last time. <laughs> God damn it! God, God damn it! it. <laughs> That's the Helga moment right there. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> you turned into frame... death. She's got that just beautiful sense of humor. That's an oof moment right there. <laughs> the a oof framed... dial is max on that. A framed painting of Helga now hangs permanently over the bar counter, so no one can escape her incredulous glare. <laughs> As the years went by, Helena truly learned how to love. And before long, she married Panic, and she has raised two wonderful tiefling children together named Creed and Zarvir. With the reformation of Periton, Helena did eventually reconnect with her family. And though things were estranged at first, Helena, eventually Helena and her parents came to accept Panic and her children. Helena, Yay. to the say, travels with Panic to whatever lands lie before them. And she still keeps in contact with her friends in Alabas and the musical Menagerie. Huxley and Ragu eventually left Alabas to sail off to far off waters. The two would share the vaunted tales of Azra Sahar and the warriors of the sun and the lands of magic and untouched territories to captivate audiences all over the world, eventually returning to Ruba to retire. Despite the passing years, Iggy never died by accident. Something that leaves <laughs> by accident, at least. Something that leaves those who've known him a bit baffled and very scared. His small cannon works were set aside for him to focus on a short-term protective shield that can be utilized for city protection. Iggy, to this day, never stops rambling about his going-abouts. And until his goings about end, neither will his ramblings. Eos returned safely to her pocket dimension, but allowed more visitors than before, including Hammernar. She still trains and welcomes any new wild magic sorceress to her fold, to help them learn to accept and use their power. Jerry, to this day, remains at Bob's <laughs> side in the oh Undersun. God. Jerry is now acting ambassador to Periton and the High Paladin of the Undersun. As oh, time shit. Would go on, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like the second in charge. Oh. As, as time would go on, Jerry would reconnect with other flumps of the Underdark and would help increase the lost numbers with his new brothers and sisters. To this day, he is still Solly's very best friend. We strike the surface at dawn! <laughs> <laughs> Revolution! As per mentioned earlier, Keikata Mara would eventually elope with Enceladus and have her own children, eventually. Kay still remains the middle district guard, and her magical prowess has grown tenfold as she's held the position. She holds a rigid and strict code of conduct that many of her co-workers hate. The stories <laughs> of her adventures with the Unexpectables have been told many times to her peers, and those who are curious about the heroes of the city. Her favorite detail being how she met her husband and how she counterspelled a mighty beast who had murdered her boss. Yes. Me too. Kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> Kiwi would eventually Kiwi! marry Robin and the two would have a single oh, child yes! together. Oh, yeah. Nice. Kiwi would, eventually leave, <laughs> Kiwi would eventually leave the sweet dragon to purchase his own boat and become a spice merchant. His penchant for <laughs> sudden bursts of violence has subsided since his career change. And though he hopes he never needs it, Kiwi still carries around his trusting frying pan, just in case. As the years have yep. gone by, Kiwi still keeps in good contact with Greckles and Remy and his other mates. Yeah. I can't believe that Kiwi became the most wealthy person in the world as a right. spice merchant, <laughs> right? <laughs> Log never changes. Time has no hold God, on him. Excellent. And his antics and dedications never slow. Ten years after the dawn of the New Age, Log would go on to create a secondary temple of Oriara, uh, Oriara in Tiedelheim, and then beyond that, make his way to the mainlands of Tracadia, Alton, and Periton to undertake a great pilgrimage and create seven more temples to Oriara in those countries. To this Ooh. day, Log is still on his great pilgrimage, but every so often he returns to Alabas to conduct sermons, weddings, and other important Oriara rituals. Log remains as he was to this day, a most dedicated cleric, a beloved friend, and the single most powerful Oriara worshipper known to man. Praise Oriara! <laughs> oh. Praise Oriara. After the dawn of the New Age, Meryl would find herself returning to school. 
As the years have gone by, Meryl graduated at the top of her class, and after leaving her employment at the Sweet Dragon, Meryl would go on to become a school teacher at a private academy in Alabaster for young children. Her family would remain as farmers in the land, and while she wouldn't say who it is, Meryl has her eyes set on a certain someone to marry. But they're a little too prideful still, or perhaps a bit too busy with their new leadership position over the Silver Dragons. Uh, <laughs> Mike Crank became an adored general of the Alavast army. Leading yes! His Hell yeah, dude! Battle. Though none know that secretly Mike Crank has taken to knitting on his downtime. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Nice. Every oh now God. and again, Mike Crank visits Fleur de Mort and Taylor to share gossip and news to the two of them. Log and Mike Crank's brotherhood remain strong, and the two are dedicated to helping their construct brethren find their paths, whether it may lead. Mr. Boca would go on to win the Golden Dragon Award for his restaurants in Alabas, opening two more restaurants in Canary's Perch and Bronto Village. Sheesh. Let's go. Get that money. With Florida Mort now in the reliable hands of Taylor, Moidos would find herself returning to Alabas. After the po passing years, Moidos would take up some of her husbands and raise two daughters of her own to become ocean druids and liaisons for the Alabas Bay area. Moidos would eventually understand the less clear sexual dimorphism of her peers and would eventually be given the title Arc Druid of the Ocean by the Druidic Ward of Alabas. Arc Druid? Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's fucking eternal now! <laughs> Naragan and Athena eventually got married, and the two remain married to this day. Naragan would eventually leave his employment at the Sweet Dragon to take over as the High Paladin of Ilene, with Sionia oh. absent after marrying Rorik and leaving to Tricadia. While Naragan loathes public speaking, he adores his position and his contributions to the Council's decisions and his renewed dedication to Ilene. Hell yeah. Nying remains to this day the single most talented seamstress in Alabast. Not a day goes by that the wealthy of Alabas do not seek out Nine's keen eye for fashion and skill at the needle. Even word of the clothing made by Nine has reached the upper class lords and ladies of foreign countries who send tradesmen of their court to commission Nine. Old Teapot passed away ten years after the dawn of the New Age. Her ashes were returned to the Eastern Isles, carried by her husband. A chipped teapot remains on the back shelves of the Sweet Dragon in memory of Old Teapot. Mm -hmm. Opal would eventually leave her employment at the Sweet Dragon to open her own weaving shop in the Undersun, where she found and married another draw woman named Irtisim, and the two worked the business together. Opal always makes sure to visit the Sweet Dragon when making shopping trips or deliveries to the surface. Ozzy and Robzo would eventually oh. take over the mantle of Grand Magister of the Nerasmin Collective. This oh. would also place <laughs> Ozzy with a seat on the council, a reluctant wow. decision, but one he would not regret. Ozzy would go on to work with Iggy on the Arcane Shield, as well as reopen Artemis's wizarding school with a new professor at its helm. Ozzy would also marry another wizard named Randall Overden, and the two remained married to this day. He finally found love. Nice. Phantom Lim Sturva would create a new village in the southwestern oh. reaches of Alabas called Licht Gabza Market Town. Sturva would lead the village to prosperity with her trade agreements within the city, as well as her goblins acting as pathfinders to charter the unknown reaches of Alabas. Pilchard would pass away 15 years after the dawn of the New Age. A statue of him would be made in his honor in the main courtyard of the Temple of Periton in honor of his heroics and his help with the reformation of Periton and his dutiful service. Solly would come to forgive Pilchard upon his passing for his involvement in Solly losing her mother, and Solly to this day consider considers Pilchard her adoptive father. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. Pitch, you remember him? Pitch would yep, help the Sweet Dragon fight pit into a proper spectacle, moving the fight <laughs> ring to its own venue and extending the Sweet Dragon business to other locales. Oh my gosh. Damn. Nice. Quarion remains to this day as Solly's personal bodyguard, as well as acts as an ambassador to the Drow families of Periton and assists monumentally in talks of peace and unity. Despite Sully's insistence that Corian can leave and create a new life for himself, Corian still remains dedicated and indebted to Sully, and knows that his placement at her side will bring a new age of peace and understanding between the subjugated people of Periton and their once feared enemy of the Drow. Scarbles to this day still remains a waitress at the Sweet Dragon, but only part-time. She found use of her digging habits in creating the, and excavating the Underrun for the trade opportunities between the Undersun and Alabas. 
Scarbles would also go on to become the notorious Rat Queen of Alabast. And as for that record, <laughs> and as for that record of carrying tankard, she would find herself destroying it time and time again. Scarlet would grow up to be quite an accomplished musician and singer. After the passing of the torch to her, Scarlet became the leader of the musical menagerie and the most beloved musician oh, in the world. Oh, 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 oh. Her career would never take her out of Alabas, and that's just fine, as all venues in the city dream of a day they can book Scarlet. Despite all this, Scarlet finds time to go adventuring in the mysterious unknown lands of Alabas, following in Panic's footsteps as a College of Glamour bard. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Her tuba, of course. Yeah! Excellent. Let's fucking go! Sebastian uh -huh. Alexander Marcus Victor Samantha Gregory Strong would remain as Alabas's most dedicated <laughs> and enthusiastic guard. Along with his new Captain Doof, Sebastian strives to keep Alabas as safe as possible. And that mustache? Eternal, baby. Beautiful, <laughs> yeah. Shadow and Silence would take over the underbelly as its leaders in the coming years. Working with Hossrod as well as others to ensure an intensive and robust spy network, as well as acting as the smuggling epicenter of the city. Epicenter, I apologize, of the city. While the two aren't the most strong-armed leaders, they certainly remain the most dangerous to this day. Skulk would grow up to be an adventurer on her own, traveling with Colette and Scarlet as the eldest member of their adventuring party. Though she would abandon her dedication to forbidden necromantic arts, Skulk would become an impressive wizard of her own accord, catching the attention of many within the city. None more so than Doros, who is overjoyed to see Skulk seizing a hopeful future for herself. Nice. Sally Andrus remains as Periton's leader to this day, a position of great responsibility and certainly with its work cut out for her. But Sally is never alone. With Diella, Quarion, and Greckles at her side, Solly works tirelessly to bring a bright tomorrow to Periton and heal the wounds left in the wake of the United Orange theocracy, just as her friends helped heal hers. Speaking of the United Clergy, it was quickly abolished in the following years of the New Age. Though Let's some go. Remain in opposition to Solly's rule, the majority of Periton now rejoices in their newfound freedoms and bask in the new light of a bright brand new sun. Good shit, Solly. Hell yeah. Starlight would eventually come to retire from singing in Alabast and enjoys her days at a seaside villa in Bronto Village. Scarlet visits her frequently, and the two love each other very much. Aww. Aww. Steve became... Steve! Steve! Steve, Steve became a world-famous poet, with her poetry books <laughs> being a worldwide bestseller. Steve has completed three full poetry books known as Poems to Make You Feel Something, as well as The Soul in the <laughs> Seal. To make you feel something. That sounds like a poet, all right. That's a, that's a poet to, a, to their core. And, oh, God. And her most recent book, Poems, The Ones That Rhyme. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Excellent. Steve has traveled throughout Alabas and to this date is on a tour of Trisella Court doing performances throughout. Ty Borpington, through his dedica dedicated years of chefdom, learned that maybe finding the cure for his fish head affliction was pointless, for he had found many misfits and strangers who loved him for who he was and his talent and his charm, and that to those people the fish head truly didn't get in the way of their love. Ty Borpington remains the sweet dragon chef to this day, despite the many desperate noble lords and rich merchant princes who pine for the halfling chef to cook for them, even offering a king's ransom. No. Ty Borpington makes his food with love and must make his food for those who love him too. Fish head and all. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Taurus grew into a mighty dragon of nobility and power, migrating to Ruba to lord over the sand sea of Ali. Despite the origins of his birth, Taurus grew into a venerable and merciful dragon to whom the people revere as a guardian and champion of the desert sands. My boy. God, what an arc. My yeah. boy. The boy! Smelly Rumor Eddie. of the Silver King reaches the ears of some of the Council of Alabas. Uh, Rumors of a new council order and the dragon's return to his resting place. But no one knows for certain, not even the Silver King's very own children. The three drunk dwarves of Alabas became the yeah! legendary of <laughs> and eventually added a fourth to their ranks. Wherever oh. there is a celebration, they are sure to be found. Oh, shit. Amazing. 
I want them nope. to be local cryptids. <laughs> they really are at this point. <laughs> Jeez. Vel Rockfist and Halla ended up marrying each other five years <gasps> after the Dawn of Let's go! Yeah. yeah. Becoming the tag team fight pit menace of Alavast and remained the vigilant guards of the Sweet Dragon Tavern. Though the two would win and lose title after title, their spirit would never dim. Fuck yes. BK do crime. Well fucking wins, dude. Welch would eventually retire from guard duty in Alabast, making his way northward towards the base of the Mountain of Repetition to act as a lawmaster of Echo Village, a position he holds with high honor. Let's go. All right. Willow would re remain in Alabast and open a much larger magic shop called the Flying Fish and would carry the most coveted potions and scrolls known in Alabast. A venerable hotspot for fledgling adventures seeking salves to survive the dangers of Alabast's unknown. Willow's secret as Elizabeth Eltmer would never be revealed to this day, and as she wished, the Eltmer royal line died in Alabas. Or Doros and Willow remain smitten to this day, and Willow cherishes her daughter Corner and what the future may hold, chaos, wonder, and magic in all its forms. As for her accident proneness, well, let's just say there are now triple digits on the scoreboard. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> Winter would remain with the Griffin Riders of Alabast, taking a small break at one point to travel with her dedicated husband, Task, to the sands of Ruba for a time. Winter's voice would never return, but that doesn't seem to bother her in the slightest. Winter would have two children with Task, Temesis and Silvervine, whom she would cherish and raise with all her heart. Yeah. Zarv would eventually retire from the bustling city life to return to Arcadia with his wife and children, he would leave the musical menagerie in the capable hands of Scarlet. And as the years went by, Zarv did join Panic Grimtongue's world tour as his bassist for a time. A great experience to end his musical career. Zeus eventually retired from working at the Romanchin and became a tavern manager himself in the newly constructed oh. southern town of Dawn's Reach. Zeus enjoys regaling visitors of his romantic interactions with the beloved and famous Panic Grimtongue. <laughs> <laughs> but more so one time he enjoyed... gave me a limp <laughs> <laughs> while I was but... dying <laughs> but more so Fuck. enjoys his new business and what growth Alabast has experienced Zotira would find herself leaving Alabast three years after the dawn of the new age she found her way to the moon kite circus to join the traveling performers but most importantly, start a romantic relationship with Hofiba the Copper Dragon. Cool. Oh, yeah. Far off the western reach, beyond the great Olean Sea, lies a city perched atop a great unexplored land. The city of Alabast. A city full of explorers, warriors, and those wishing for a life of research and adventure. For all the splendors the city has to offer, the only way to be a part of the city is to provide to the city. And so our heroes, Remy the Kenku fighter, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Greckles the Kenku rogue, and Panic the Tiefling bard, well, they did just that. They saved the city and the world. They became heroes and incredible friends. They brought hope, laughter, and peace to all. And they may not be perfect, but they will always be unexpected. But the consequences of their loose ends might be too. Far beyond the Olean Sea, past the coasts of Martorallo, in the darkest caverns where not even a story can survive, skips merrily a black-scale kobold. Clutched in her claws is an orb once stolen from the careful watch of Hokef, now dimly alighting a forsaken and moaning cavern. As Mel the Necromancer takes gleeful step after gleeful step, her eyes meet the dead end of this dank and unforgiving place. Master, she speaks, cutting through the moans of the damned. I have gathered what is needed, and the changes have been made. The tipping of the scales rendered by this final orb will act as a vessel for the needs of our master. And in an instant, 
What was thought a dead end opens and piercing through the darkness reveals a massive, sickly, yellow, draconic eye. <sighs> Dancing death, it purrs. It is good to see you again. Let us catalyze my metamorphosis and welcome this new age with ash. And that is where we will end the campaign. Oh, oh, oh yeah. my oh, God. Holy <laughs> shit. Damn. Oh. The end. Is it? <laughs> or is it? Question mark. <laughs> wow. Find out on the 13th of April for an announcement. Wait, what's on the 13th of April? An announcement. An announcement. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, snap. Hey. I'm going to go ahead and post a uh, picture of Themesis and his wife real quick into our chats. Wait just... a minute, Monty. Uh-huh. A, a couple of announcements. What? Eyebrow waggle. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, nodding. <laughs> but that's it. That's the end, you guys. Hell yeah. Oh, man. It doesn't That's feel real. End. Holy fuck. I know, it Fucking doesn't feel completion. real. completion. Holy fuck. I have yeah. exactly 123 pages of notes. Bye, Austin. Bye, Bye Austin. Austin. My audio Bye, is cut Austin. to shit. For the last time. You guys can save maybe. this as... Uh, this is not episode 201. This is the epilogue. So you just have this as unexpected. It's different. Epilogue. We got an even... We got a clean cut. Oh, oh goodbye. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Who was that? Hi. Well, Zito? Back. Yeah, I'm back. Something Hello. Fucking, oh boy. Oh, man. Maybe, maybe it's something got, to do with I your... Got, I got sweat, man. I... Yeah. <sighs> Can we have some fun music? Thank you. Yeah, there's the fun music. <laughs> Thank you guys so guys. much. Hell yeah. It's been... About five years since yeah, we started almost. this. And do not go now, anywhere, by the way. Don't no. don't don't oh, yeah. go away. You thinking, about, you thinking about hitting that unfollow button? No. You thinking about leaving the Discord? No. No. <laughs> no. Thinking oh. about thinking about stopping watching Gateway? Please don't. <laughs> everyone everyone who's like, huh, what happened to Mel? You have no idea how much of a smile that put on my face. <laughs> Mel? <laughs> Mel? Mel? I saw it in the in the chat. Mel? Mel? What has, what's up with, up with Mel? I guess we're not finding out what happened with Mel. Uh-oh! <laughs> she brought back a Draco Lich! God! This is a... This is a certified whoopsie moment, chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, yeah. Now imagine if you're the one who stole that shit for her. Oh, God. Well, um, my hands are clean. You, I'm glad we didn't. No, <laughs> yeah. we didn't. Yeah, I didn't, we didn't do, I didn't do anything. I wasn't even around. I don't know what y'all are talking about. My hands are you clean. Had, what a happy ending. I feel great. You had no hand in it. Nope. Oh, Although we could have, we could have probably reported her, to be honest, but... Yeah. We were, but you didn't. We didn't. And she tried to kill us over it. She sure did. Multiple times. She Fucking sure hell. Oh Anyone God. who's like, oh, Mel's oh a God. good guy. I'm like, no, she's I fucking I evil. I, she's I like villain. how there's a bunch of people in chat who are telling me, oh, well, now that's Themesis and Silvervine's problem. Good job, Task. What the f <laughs> do you mean? <laughs> I mean, like, it, like we're we're, all, we're probably we're probably like level fucking like sixteen at the at the point where this is all happening. Or oh man, we're retired. Also, I'm famous. Connor, and, I'm rich and famous now. <laughs> for the for those of you that still need your fix next week, Connor and I will be doing something on. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be having a little. Uh, we're gonna be doing a Q and A. I think Q and A, yeah. but it'll be like the the end Q and A, so you can ask every question yeah. you've ever wanted about us. Yeah, we, 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 we can. It, if you ask us anything we can't answer about what Mel's doing, I don't know. No Before you even, I don't How know what we that know? was about. How Monty the fuck wrote would we it. Know? Well, Monty's the only one who knows. Exactly. Uh, she's she's <laughs> going to be taking a break. Be there because she's taking April off. 
I, yeah, uh, she's well, taking a well-deserved break. A outside well-deserved of the 13th. Break. Mm. And, uh, yeah, the 13th, we're going to be back for a very short stream where we're going to be announcing multiple things, apparently. <laughs> I know we're definitely announcing one thing. Um, <laughs> what so is mine be, up in the air? A, it'll be 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time Standard when we usually stream. Um, so uh, I asked if you've been watching the show or if you have friends who are interested in watching the show, definitely check that out. It's going to be a fun announcement. Um, and uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. That God, so we, we couldn't have gotten here if it weren't for all of you. Like, holy oh, shit, yeah. dude. Oh my God, yeah. And then the army of flumps rise out of the ground. Yes! <laughs> the the time is now! They I'm the high paladin! <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Yes, <laughs> money! <laughs> I like it because he's oh. actually not a paladin, but he's called the high paladin. He has no paladin <laughs> levels. I just want to point that out. Like, Jerry is literally a flump with a sword and nothing else, so he is oh literally like, That's all I need! Oh, man, oh, man, man. oh, man. Oh, man, it's, oh, man, it's, oh, man. I didn't cry. I didn't cry. Yeah, I think, I think, I think I'm good. I think we've 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 known we've known this is going to happen for a while, and yeah, I think we, I mean, we've all had time we've all had time to prepare and gird ourselves. But the thing is, is that for me anyway, this feels like a really good natural close. Like I hate that there's so much media out there that's like, let's milk this for all it's worth until it's like boring or run oh, out of ideas. Yeah, like yeah. this did not get Simpsoned. Like, and I'm so happy for that. <laughs> Don't have a cow, man. It's overdone. Bart's 50. <laughs> Unexpectables did it. What? Unexpectables did it. <laughs> Unexpectables did it. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta get I gotta go get rid of wedlock now because Unexpectables did Themesis. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we call that oh. canon, motherfuckers. Oh, anyway. Guys. Wow. We 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 did it. <laughs> we still we still we did it! We still Whoa. have 1500 people here oh my god we do we didn't die either that's truly amazing we didn't we didn't yeah. fucking die and yeah they the aspects died. are now <laughs> they're now celestials lies end is now a god who doesn't remember you as well oh so. that's fine do you remember me yeah, what about the what about everyone in the no. well <laughs> god damn it god <laughs> <laughs> Sense. I, I didn't obviously I couldn't go over every single character ever. I mean, writing sure. even what I just read out took like two days. So yeah, no, um, that's originally fine. I was, originally, I was going to do a slideshow, but then I started making it. And it was taking way too much time, and I just, that, that literally would have just been a fucking Fallout the Fallout esque yeah. slideshow. Yeah, I was hoping to do that, which I fucking love, by the way. Yeah, I'm really glad that if you couldn't tell, I really like Fallout guys. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, some of the characters have passed away, but like it was some natural causes. Like, yeah, like, it was, like orcs don't live very long, unfortunately. Yeah, so. got, I mean, and not only that, Hulk has gone through some shit. Old. So, like, yeah, yeah, no. Oh, but, god, yeah, no, oh my god. Well, hot. Damn. What do we do now? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I just I know, saw right? a pit drop and it was really funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, we should we should probably we, we should probably get around to uh, doing should, our outros. Yeah. I guess we can't linger here forever, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. As much as we would love to stick around and bask in the afterglow, chat, we we got some stuff to take care of uh, off screen. So, uh, let's start with Bosco. Where can they find oh, you? God, why? Um. You can find me at Ed Bosco via on both Instagram and Twitter and on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. I guess this is where we say our final words, right? Like, this is it? Yeah, this is, yeah. This is mm -hmm. it. Until the 13th when we come back. Um, cool. For an announcement. Dead. Two announcements. <laughs> Three announcements. Until then, we're six feet under. <laughs> Five announcements. I'm trying to find the right words. Uh, so, hi, guys. Uh, I'm that guest character that they never got rid of. <laughs> and I, I I know we've had all our ups and downs, YouTube and Twitch. We have we have laughed together, we have yelled at each other together, we have criticized each other, whether it was in comments or on the stream, and we've had just a good old time being pieces of shit to each other. And I just gotta say, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for keeping me around to these guys for letting me play. I cannot tell you the reason I'm so emotional right now is because 
I feel so grateful and fortunate. Most people, when they play D&D, never get through a full campaign. Very few people get through a campaign that lasts a couple of years. This is the second time that I'm experiencing a campaign ending after three or four years, and that doesn't happen. And I understand how fortunate I am. I thought my original DM was as good as it got, and I never thought I would find anybody that gave me those same kind of feelings again, and Monty has done that. And she is such an incredibly talented person, and we have such an incredibly talented cast. For me, just to sidekick along with them has been a blast. To watch them all grow as performers and to watch Monty grow as a DM and as a writer, it has been a blast. To watch Connor become a DM, to watch Zito evolve as a player because he always has the DM, and to watch Gaijin now unavoidably be able to call himself not an actor anymore. Oh, it's just, <laughs> shut the fuck up. It's my turn. You're an actor. Um, You're very good at it. It's just, it's been such a blast. And like the emotions come from gratitude. It's, is it disappointing we're not going to be playing next week? Yeah, but. I'm also like the, the emotions are from gratitude and the emotions are from all of you guys. And we're only here because of you guys. And I can't say thank you enough. Thank you for dealing with me. Thank you for putting up with my nonsense. And remember, never die easy and go Bulls. Right on. That's all I got. <clears throat> Gaijin Goomba, where can we find you? What do you go to? <sighs> I'm trying to put together words in all this and i'm just surrounded by all I'm, this text and I, I feel this, it i'm just sort of floating right log. now so i came into this whole campaign i i didn't feel like i deserved it um i was very very overwhelmed with everyone uh i am not known as as an actor i do bit roles for voice acting sparsely um for now for now and this has been such a blessing. This, I jumped into this at a very rough time in my life and my career, and it's been nothing but wonderful. I I look forward to it every, every single week. Um, I want to say thank you not only to Chad, but to all of you for dealing with my stupid weeb shit that was the foundation of what Greckles was. I put Greckles together shortly after I started my Witch Ninja series, which is kind of why I put them together in the first place. Um, but I'm really glad with how we ended up. I'm very happy that everyone's been so loving and, and uh, accepting of him as a character because I've always I've always played like good boys and whatnot. I, he, he was such a risk. Um, he paid off. Yeah, no, and it, 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 it feels good. Um, I'm just glad that everyone enjoyed it. Uh, I'm still doing weep shit over on my YouTube channel that I've got. I've, it's almost been 10 years since I've started doing YouTube. Um, I have a, speaking of, I have a, uh, brand new homebrew fifth ed race, the Oni, which is actually five, uh, different highly culturally researched and detect balanced balanced races please go check that out. it's already silver thank you so much for that uh for for buying it if you bought it um this it's it's just been amazing like i i actually feel like i made so many friends here too like and that's the really big thing for me i've met so many people through this so just bless all y'all Oh. <sighs> All right. Zito, where can they find you? You know, you know the exact same locations. Twitch.tv slash Zito, where I play indie games and talk about fucking homebrew nonsense. Uh, also on my Patreon, uh, where you could find on uh, a lot of my new D&D homebrew content. Uh, let me go ahead and post you all a link to... Uh, where everyone's like, wait, what the fuck, Themesis, he's canon? Yeah, that was a that was a very nice bow and Monty threw at me the, to oh, let me it. make them canon. <laughs> so she, she's never going to let me fucking play the actual thing that they're supported <laughs> under. But hey, there's hope. Maybe. Maybe you guys could have one. Get Go check out Wedlock. That's basically uh, a new... What what is it called? Incantate... Connor, you play Warlocks all the time. What's the thing yeah. that lets them... Invocations. Eldritch Invocation. Invocations. Yeah, Invocation. Uh, this one lets you basically have your... Uh, 
It lets your patron create a little version of themselves to fight alongside you, almost like an Echo Knight. Ooh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's called Wedlock. It's on there, and Themesis and Ruby are front and center, which is what his wife's name is. And, you know, you read into it. You also get to fight her if you want to. Good luck. She's level... She's CR 30. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, so... Let me go ahead and get sappy. Uh, I walked into this with not a lot of uh, uh, self-confidence, shall we say. Uh, I had a lot. I, I've been running through a lot of uh, during the start of this. I was kind of parsing through a lot of trust issues and self-doubt about a lot of stuff I was doing in life. Uh, and this was nice to actually like use it as a way to escape and get the fuck out of that mindset. And as time went on, that actually had occurred. So this was good for me. Uh, this was fun for me. And it was also something that I, I hate the fact that I run so much of my shit on spite because it's so fucking one note, but it runs back to when I fucking, I, I got pissed at one of my teachers in college when I first went in because they were just like, stop reading all this D&D &D shit. No one's going to care. <laughs> Little did Jokes they know. on them. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you guys allowed me to say, ha, fuck you a little bit. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I... I'm kind of fucking shocked that people give a shit about whatever I do, whether it be homebrew, whether it be art, whether it be the stupid Sonic OC shit that I made and made little mods for, the writing that I do, the the plush that I did with Joe Cat, uh, le sitting through my stupid nonsense when, uh, as the uh, <laughs> the TV tropes called it Mike Keating when it came to a Abner. Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just a fucking blast to do stuff like this, and I'm very happy and very grateful I get to do it, like, on a weekly basis. So, thanks a bunch for that. Right on. Monty Glue, where can they find you? I got you, Connor. Indeed. <laughs> oh, um, well, I mean, you guys can find me here still. We still have things going on. Um, I think it goes without saying, um, I want to thank everybody. This has been kind of a happy accident of all things. And <laughs> I've, I, I don't, you, everyone knows I don't like to talk about myself a whole lot. But um, this has been the single best thing in my life. Um, I have tried to work as hard as possible on the unexpectables to have, you know, people have fun. There's been a lot of stuff that has happened, you know, through the course of unexpectables and some really extreme low points um, that yeah, between sickness and, and other issues um, and I have had to kind of like press through them all, um, as much as possible. And, um, I, I want to thank everyone who has stuck with us despite any changes that may have occurred, um, despite any cancellations that may have had to happen, any adaptions that may have had to happen. Um, every choice that was made was made with the interests of the players and the audience in mind. Um, and I am extremely lucky to be able to do this for people and I do not want to ever take it for granted. I'm always going to work as hard as I can. Um, I'm always going to try and make stuff that is good, um, or at least enjoyable. <laughs> good is kind of subjective, <laughs> but, um, you guys gave me the chance and you guys have stuck with us despite everything, um, for good and bad. And for that, thank you so much. I, I, I really hope you guys can celebrate what we have. And I am extremely excited to what, for what the future holds. I, <laughs> I want to just say this. I had a week to make Unexpectables. I had, I had seven days to make the Unexpectables. And this is what it became. I had, I had one week. And 
I want you all to imagine what I can make with more time. And I want you guys to be here for it. And I want you guys to experience it and enjoy it. And um, to my players, I want you to have another adventure with me, honestly. I, I really do. It has been, I've been spoiled with amazing players. I've been spoiled with a fantastic Twitch audience. I've been spoiled with peers and guest stars who have come in and absolutely killed it. I, I am incredibly, incredibly lucky and I cannot thank you all enough so much for being understanding and, and being here with us through thick and thin, honestly. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, you can find me playing Arceus on the weekend and Dungeon Mad Mage tomorrow. So, <laughs> can we can we just round of applause, please? I know it's gonna yeah. be out of sync, but just come on. Freaking hell, Monty! That I'd was. Like, I'd like to point out that God also created the world in seven days, so Monty just yeah. through the God. Oh, oh shit! How much out, Chad? That's how long it took to build Rome. It's true. She also yeah, apparently days. is a Rome builder. Oh, I go. did build a city. I did have to build the city in seven days. Yep. Yeah. And then figure out how you guys aren't going to get magical items at level one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also, none, none of this magic. Is... How do I not let them have a fucking Vorpal sword at level one? Also, just to piggyback on what you said, none of this is luck. You've earned every bit of this. Mm -hmm. Well, it's oh, both. Yeah. It's luck and work, right? Like, you get a chance and you have to work to make that chance something into something. So, just know I... I you know, I try and work as hard as I can without destroying myself, but I always try and put as much effort as I can because this does matter. You know, mm -hmm. this isn't, this isn't, I come in, I'm like, all right, let's do whatever. It's like, I think a lot and I, well, I what's up, everybody, it's Monty. I'm here to do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, so many notebooks. I have dice and monsters. <laughs> I, um, yeah, so I, I want to do more, and I I am going to do more, and it would take a thunderbolt to strike me down where I stand to stop me, I think. A thunderbolt of lightning? Rate. Very, very yeah. frightening. That's very, very frightening. Me. Oh, Leo. <laughs> so I guess I need to say this real quick because I know Connor's going to do his his shtick like in a hot second, but uh -huh. I, I've had the, the fortune of playing a lot of characters via my career, and I don't need to like read off my IMDb. Remy hasn't just become my favorite D&D &D character. He's one of my favorite characters ever, and that's because of the world that you built, Monty, and the people that I got to play with. And I just need to put that out there, and I'm going to stop before I get too emotional. Connor, where can no, they find you? Good. They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can find me playing tabletop games with my boys on Tuesdays, Fridays, Friday Funhouse, where I basically just play whatever I feel like with whoever decides to show up. Uh, Saturdays, I'm playing through the Yakuza series. Uh, we're on Yakuza 6. Uh, and I, I guess I should also mention that if I get to 150 subs before the end of Yakuza 6, I will play through Judgment and Lost Judgment. Oh, oh, before boy. moving on to seven. Oh, boy. And if I get to 200, I will play Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah. Um, Sundays as well. I'm playing through uh, another grand epic story that's t taken way less time to tell. Uh... Uh, I, I, my, my brain, I, I flatlined I for a know. second. We're starting to get to that point. Yeah. Um, Dead House Sonata. In Dead House Sonata, I was playing uh, Banner Saga, indeed. Oh, okay. uh, but yes, Ban uh, Dead House Sonata, they've got a Speaking playable tech things. demo. Wow. Not Dead House. Not Dead House. Wow. Banner Saga. Sorry. I was not about Dead to say, <laughs> it's not <laughs> sad. It's the spiritual successor to the Legacy of Cain series. Fucking savage. <laughs> you yeah, play the dead to fight the living. Uh, what are you, Metallica? <laughs> the living guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everywhere I roam. God. Oh, uh, wait, no, we're, we're fucking vibing it up. Uh, DMCA. Hey, oh, thanks, Metallica. You just, you just had a roll come out, didn't you? Uh, that is true. Um, you can hear me as Captain Adrian Bakunin in Ghost Runner Project Hell. Just roll over and oh. die. Uh. 
<laughs> that's, a, that's an in joke. Go play the game. Dude. It's fun. Bloodshed ends here. Uh, yeah. Uh, God, also check out my DMs Guild where I release 5th edition subclasses. Um, I'm, I'm planning to release the rest of the subclasses for the rest of the classes uh, that I have left. I think there's only like two more that I have to do. And then I'll be working on a pretty big book. Um, oh. There's probably going to be like a small adventure with some subclasses Are and a bunch of stuff. Are you a pre-written oh, adventure? I, I might be. Uh, oh. Stay tuned. That's probably going to be a bit a bit far into the future, but uh, yes. Oh. Um, don't worry. Uh, once it's, it's once cool. it's getting close, I'll announce it. Uh, but not for a while. Um, but yes, I already tweeted about it. Shit. <laughs> <Chet>. Delay. <laughs> it's done. Oh, did it. Uh, you know who else? Um. Likes, uh, likes us. Um, is, it, is Die Hard Dice? Is it Die Hard Dice? Die Hard Dice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> uh, I'm deaf. Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop. For <laughs> <laughs> Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories, and we can't thank them enough for supporting us over the many, many years that we've been partners. Uh, for this game, I, I think it's is it is it two two and a half years yeah, that we they've two been and a half, two and a half close to three two and a half years yeah. about hey. that we've been uh, partnering. Yet, up. So we must be doing something. <laughs> right. Hey Connor, yeah, indeed. Uh, and if you use the code, yeah, y yeah. Oh no, no, say the promo code. Uh, if you use the code unexpectables exclamation point, you can save ten percent on your order at dieharddice.com. Uh, and you, some of that money will be thrown back to us so we can uh, keep funding our shows like Gateway and um, Gateway. Um, <laughs> oh, Gateway. Uh, Redacted. <laughs> Redacted. Tune uh, in August 13th for something, I guess. Hey, Prince Division has one episode <laughs> left this Saturday, so. It does. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Oh and then it's yeah, Gateway yeah. Forever, baby. A hundred <laughs> years Gateway. Can we, can I, this was the long it's... con. This was Connor's <laughs> goal to take over the channel forever. Finally, I've, finally, I've, I've got a, 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 a grasp firmly on the throat of the Unexpectable <laughs> channel. But you don't know. It's all Gateway all the time, baby. Connor, before you before you get off Die Hard Dice, can I can I do the can I do my tagline one more time just for old time's sake? Sure, yes. absolutely. Okay. Remember, folks, pick up your Die Hard Dice because you'll never die easy with Die Hard Dice. Oh, Bosco! No, it's okay. I got you. Nice. Remember when? It, remember yeah, when got her. <laughs> remember when it was yeah. a joke? Yeah, right. I do remember. I do it was remember a joke. when it was a joke. I remember. <laughs> So now, so now we gotta go. think of another sponsor and make it a joke. You know what? I'm gonna call D and D Beyond, dude. Mm. Oh shit! Is this D &D really D &D happening Beyond. right now? D and D Beyond, <laughs> you like. I'm serious. <laughs> I am. I'm dead. I, I met a rat Hi, at Spawn, and and I just want to say, I'm <laughs> just joking. I kind of. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let you, Crawford. Let's do this shit. Well, <laughs> she's riding fight, a power high, y'all. I'm gonna fight. <laughs> Dave Dungeon, Dun Dave D and D Beyond in like, a, like in a in a battle to to become, I don't know. That's what that's what D and D Beyond stands for. Dave and Dave Beyond. <laughs> Dave and Dave you Beyond. You must defeat Dave Dude. and Dave to get beyond this. Exactly. It all comes oh, together. Man. Um. So how are we gonna read off bits and subs when there's been oh, so freaking many? I'll ch I'll try. Good luck. Um. I guess I'll just go Check a from the bottom here. Start at the uh, bottom because we're here. They then... they of course got eaten. Thanks, Streamlabs. We'll have Thank to figure you, out a solution. For, we'll have to figure out a solution for this. Uh, I don't know if there is. We'll soon here. here. There's going to be a uh, lot of behind the scenes tech update stuff going on. Oh so yeah. As much as I'm having yeah. a quote unquote break, let's be real. It's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> she doesn't been... know how to take a break. She's just doing Hence... other important things. Hence the announcements. Anyway. Um, we'll just start things off with Jesus Freak 220. Thank you for the <laughs> 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 happy finale, Unexpectables. 
been around for a long time. Sad to see it end, but happy to have been a part of the ride. Also, congrats, Task. Lil Raptor, thank you for the Yay. sub. Kuro Kami, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you for all the entertainment and your outstanding performances. Looking forward to more as we head on to new adventures. Rug Smuggler. Is sure. this 50 subs gifted to the community, Woo! I think? Oh, God. Goodness gracious sakes alive. Thank you so much, Rug Smuggler. You've smuggled in more than rugs. You smuggled in 50 gifted subs. Good gracious. And also thank you for the five months of Prime Subbage. Finally able to pull over safely and do this. Oh, goodness gracious. Thanks. Good. Thanks, goodness. Yeah. Well, thank you for pulling over. Uh, load, load the gift subinator. <laughs> oh, uh, enjoy, everyone. Thank you for keeping me entertained since I found you in the dog zone. My backlog on YouTube wow. is on 40 episodes now. Back to the Ooh. parched sand fields I go. Oh, my goodness. Well, Jeez. thank you for coming to the epilogue. I guess you Absolutely. know how it ends. Thank you so much. Uh, too many fandoms. Seven, seven, seven. Thank you uh, for the uh, for twenty-three months. Tillor, nineteen eighty-five. Thank you for the twenty-two months. Congratulations, Unexpectables, to an amazing campaign. K one LLC. Thank you for the prime sub. Chris Sirosaurus. Thank you for the ten subs. Arkolf. Thank you for the nineteen hey, months. Arkolf. Yeah. What? No, that Topic guy. fan. It's Saturday. Poppet fan, thank you for the 24 months. It's been an amazing ride. I'm going to miss this. Defective Sheep, thank you for the 10 gifted subs to the community. Free Shavakadu, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Strawberry Jam. Lord, Dark Lord Popo, thank you for gifting 10 subs to the community. Splitar241, thank you for the seven months. Umbertastic, thank you for the 19 months. Made it to 19 months at the end. Heck yeah. Hollow Follow Below, thank you for this sub. Poppet fan, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Emir Amarant, thank you for the two months. Dude, the man, thank you for the 20 months. GG, boys. G. G. You called? I'd say it was a good game. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I don't just know. got an image in my head. GG. Fucking, fucking Gaijin Goomba pops up on my desk. You rang? <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> Huh. You want your H back? Is this what this is all about? Yes! <laughs> Almost it's like fine. Flip, flip here it is. Desk, the at the very here. end, I, I bequeath to you your your lost H. Oh, shit. Thank oh, you so much, now, man. Now you need to go there put it, it back in. There you so, go. I so can, is it HGG? -G? Is it HGG, GHG, or GGH? Is it, it's, Twitter, it's, is it Twitter or YouTube or uh, Twitch that doesn't have the H? H-H, uh, Greg, Christmas in July. Uh, real talk really quick. It's actually uh, uh, Twitch that does not have the H. You got to add it in. Uh, I can't because I own both names. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you had the H all along? You liar! You fucking absolute lying sack you of shit. You had it the whole time. I, su I supported you! It's it's now Gaijin Gahuma. <laughs> <laughs> now he's Why got two go H's. Fuck yourself. <laughs> look, I, I had to make sure Gaijin's the one percent of H's right oh now. My look, God. I've had God. look, I've had to fight Instagram doppelgangers. I wanted to make sure I had both names. Uh huh. Hot damn. Well, you better switch wow. to the fucking God, H. The truth, the Ga Gaijin just put out. two U. <laughs> Gaijin. Does Gaijin, Gaijin Goomba is H? <laughs> <laughs> Gaijin Gooba literally you guys can just find did... me at Gaijin Gooba with an H and without an H because I'm a fucking liar. Oh he, my he god! He literally just did the thing where someone will put a, a uh, Starbucks in front of another Starbucks just to generate fucking breasts. <laughs> Gahumba, he's a Mikote. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Lasker Fuffle, thank you for the two years. Can't believe that the show that got me into the is D and D is finally ending. It's been a journey, and I thank everyone involved for creating such a great story. Solar Misfit, thank you for the three months of Prime subage. I love you guys. I've followed you since episode two, and I haven't regretted my decision to start D and D because of you. X Wiley Willie, thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Goodbye Austin. Oh, oh no! We still have him. Like no, as long as he is, yeah. Oh, we're gonna yeah. like fucking Thanos snaps away. <laughs> we ask God impasto fettuccine. As long as we keep, big dog. As long as we keep feeding him and and put it in his little water sippy cup thing. Uh, yeah. He'll be F's fine. In the chat, F's in the chat for Austin, man. It's indeed. 
Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. A big thank you to Austin as well. Austin has been, been a fucking yeah. trooper. He's We're gonna miss been you, an dude. Absolute trooper. Uh, luck in your future endeavors. He's not going anywhere. Stop saying it. He's pecking up his hamster wheel. It's true. He's, he's going fire. home. He's, he's getting his hamster ball with a little suitcase <laughs> in his roll. Taking his hamster ball and going home. He's fucking upgrading to pine chips. <laughs> oh, Rashnaroth, thank you for the 22 months of Prime subage. Captain Thunderbolt, thank you for the four bits. Well, now that the series over, it's high time I go and watch from the beginning. Ooh. Oh, Jay Sauer, thank you for the uh, 100 bits. Monty, you're an amazing DM and would be privileged to play at your table. Indeed. We, we're, we've all been spoiled rotten with uh, yeah. this campaign by Absolute, Monty, honestly. Yeah, understatement. Uh, Vardix S, thank you for the 1,000 bits. You said we spoiled you, Monty, but honestly, you spoiled us. Hell yeah, that's what I just said. And I, for one, <laughs> plan to stick around to see if the spoils keep coming. Indeed. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 49 bits. And the additional 49 bits, uh, making a grand total of, of uh, like, 108, I think. I don't know. Anyway, Kane Time, thank you for the 500 bits. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Oh my goodness gracious. Jeez. Zenlita, thank you for the 200 bits. Connor, can we get one last 20 win for the road? Well, there it Absolutely. is. Absolutely. There it is. Uh, it's not going to be the last one because Brave Fencer Musashi Den says for 100 bits, Connor, wait, you can't ep end the episode without saying this. 20 win. <laughs> <laughs> You did it. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 48 bits. Doom Knight, thank you for the 200 bits. When episode of the when is the episode of the charity stream going to be uploaded to the YouTube? Also, I am am I late too late to donate? I hope the bits go through to feed Austin. Uh, uh I think uh. I think you're a bit too late to donate for the uh gamers outreach thing. Wait, you are feeding Austin. And you are feeding Austin. That is you true. Are, yeah. You actually have him us. the deluxe wood chips. That's a good question. Also, the, uh, also, the, oh, fuck, he's dead in the cage. And also Hartsey, oh, well, who's been uh, editing yes. our sideshows. Speaking well. of awful, we should, we should probably bring we should probably bring that up. Uh the the slideshow that gets brought to you every time we uh mm -hmm. do an episode is uh thrown together by artsy hartsy one of our good thrown friends together. here it's, it's well edited by it, it's all right i didn't mean anything We're bad by that i couldn't do better than this he did an amazing job putting this uh, slideshow of all of your wonderful fan art together uh the problem yeah. is you gave us too much to go over so we had to put it in a slideshow yeah it used to be no, me artsy artsy does good work I Artsy remember the arch, Austin, the arch streams every Friday. Stuff. So that's actually a good question, Monty. Is the charity stream going to be up on the YouTube at some point? Uh, yeah, we'll probably upload okay, cool. it to the YouTube. I'll Sweet. have to let Austin know to do that. Amazing. Um, <laughs> Excellent. Egg we'll have to get salad. a thumbnail for it, but we could just use the Oh, God. Picture. Yeah, yeah, the gazebo. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, is that clip art? Are you allowed to use oh, that? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, I asked Zenlita to find free use art, so hopefully Zenlita well, there we go. followed my instructions, but... So if it's I can't, anybody's fault, it's Zen's. Got it. I, 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 fault, yeah. I really want want it to be not clip art and to just have the big watermark of Shutterstock in front of it. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> yeah, man. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that might actually benefit. Favorite. Yeah. Um, Blackfoot Fair, thank you for the 48 bits. Uh, and the 39 bits. Maximum effort. Thank you for the 100 bits. Throw the dice all over the floor, Monty, for one last dice. Draft. No, I literally took apart a shelf the other day and I found three dice. <laughs> yes! Oh my God. I, was like, I was like, ugh. The That's Chibi Wolf. Thank you for the 200 bits. Remember to drink your legs and stretch your water, everyone. Citric, I missed you! <gasps> Citric. Oh, Citric. Oh, oh, the king. Our beloved friend. I remember, Ziza yeah. the, oh Ziza the Dark Witch. Thank you for the fifteen bits. Uh, thanks for an awesome adventure. Just want to let you know that I am using my diehard dice at the library's D and D campaign with a yellow couple named Sunny D Bright Skin. Ah, <laughs> that's amazing. Amazing. Outstanding. Why is your library so cool? 
All right, chat, chat, calm down. Citric Libraries are here. always cool. Cit Citric wasn't actually here. That's just what he used to say. However, uh, I will say, as soon as the last episode was over, I did get a message from Citric on the side, and he was like, hey, hey congrats on finishing everything. So he did watch the finale, so he is around. And yeah. I'm, I'm looking we at you, Citric. Citric. We miss you. We do. You come back whenever you want, but thank you so much for having me. No, much come back now. Don't work, don't work too hard, okay? Yes, yeah, back here. Yeah. Black yeah, Fair, I think of it as 69 bits. Nice. Nice. Burnout Vaughn, think of the 100 bits. Well, now, I just sit in the nebulous void between games, I guess. Bosco, you owe me a new liver. I'll see you on Saturday. Wait, what? <laughs> I have no idea. No, I Better can't. I don't have that kind of money. Show up at Gateway on Saturday, goddammit. What? What is Raw Gateway? Sodium, think of... <laughs> the only show on this channel, baby! Not yet, you fuck! Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the or raw sodium, thank you for the eighty raw bits. I was to be thank you for out. all, thank you for all the lovely uh, story I got to ride along for. I'll catch you in the Prince Division finale, and the Gateway uh, next episode, right? You are right, Dusty Bone. Thank you for the one hundred bits left. One final terrible hurrah. What do you call it when Mel uses a powerful religious artifact to create a lot of dead to fight the living? Problems. A dancing death house. No. Shoulda shot a. <laughs> no. <Aww. laughs> Shoulda shot a. In. Deeb. Zacko Duo. Thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Pocket Baby. <gasps> it's mine. Is. It's all mine. In a what's, different what's dimension. <laughs> Where's that epilogue, Monty? <laughs> <laughs> the world ended. Alternate the, dimension. In that, in that alternate the, the dimension. The baby is oh, timeless shit. and never grew up. However, I can't it believe Pocket, such powerful chronomancy. I can't believe Pocket Baby was a linchpin for reality. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's the same timeline where Panic had to do that hot dog eating contest. Oh my god. I have to lost. defeat the end. <laughs> 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 uh, Black Belt Gamer. Thank you for the 52 bits. Time to say goodbye. Let me say this. They say all endings are merely beginnings waiting to be born. Here's my first bit donation. Well, glad to have you around, Black Belt Gamer. Honor. Dice Ruler. Honor. Oh. Before you continue, you now have put an image on my head of Panic and the End at fucking Coney Island doing the hot dog eating <laughs> contest. <laughs> <laughs> on a buggy and Panic's shit got a, summer night. <laughs> Panic's got a mouthful of hot dogs looking like the gentleman meme. <laughs> Meanwhile, the end is just pouring hot dogs into his black hole head. Yeah. <laughs> I have ball. to try Don't harder. This is ball. Oh, uh, yeah, the ball. <laughs> just for the orphans. I, I want to just grab the end by this big, stupid ball head and slam dunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We all know. The big man has the game. rock. He's going uh, hard in the paint. Going hard in the motherfucking paint. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for this. And also called it with Panic and Helena when I first saw them. Indeed. Yeah. The I Adam Bomb. That, that you scarred her, and I went, yep, they're going to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they're destined for each other. Yep. Uh, the Adam Bomb, thank you for the 100 bits. Grandpa, can you read it again? I don't know, kid. It's getting kind of late. Please? As you wish. Our story begins in the land of Alavast. Aww. Aww. And the, <laughs> the and the wonderful oh, old timey and the wonderful old timey taste of hickama dickables. Hickama, what the fuck? <laughs> someone knows what <laughs> that's. Someone, someone, sorry. someone gets that so reference. Just said, I imagine the end just sounds like a fucking vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even move. God. Uh. Indie Incendies Productions, thank you for the 100 bits. So here's some final bits for the highway. Thank you for everything, Unexpectables. Black Belt Gamer, thank you for the 43 additional bits. Mad Mythos, thank you for the five bits. I'm so glad I can be here, even if I have a little subs. I'm just glad I got to see the epilogue live. I'm glad you made it thank too. you for spending your Wednesday with us. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. A lot. You yeah, your, mo your money yeah. is valuable, but your time is even more valuable because you only yeah. get one of those things back. Thank you so much. Dippin' Bipples, thank you for the 100 oh bits. Dippin' Bipples! <laughs> hey, Monty, I'm not sure if my previous bits were eaten, but I feel like, uh, if you feel like revenge for all your headaches, you can visit my channel, haha. -ha. No. 
What do you dip bipples there? I bet. Weirdo. <laughs> Blackfoot Fair, I think, for the 49 bits. Uh, <laughs> Lost to me, the robot, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for this wonderful joyride of a campaign. Remember, you're all rock starks. Thank you, and see you next time. As your game artist, thank you for the 100 bits. Just a bit more bits to end the night. Thank you for the ride. Here's to the here's to the next campaign and the madness to come. The Chibi Wolf, thank you for the 200 bits. Hope my favorite character, uh, inexplicably floating cabbage, is happy on the airship core. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really. Someone was like, where's the cabbage? I'm like, it's in an airship somewhere in Nomeria. You just okay. see like an airship floating by everywhere you look. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere you go. The heart is a heart. Monty, I'm so proud of you for knowing that song. I only know that first part and nothing else. <laughs> that's enough. You know what? It's I enough to make me believe. To. Good enough. Biochem Light, thank you for gifting 10 subs to the community. Blackfoot Fairy, thank you for the 45 bits. Sinister Kumo, thank you for the sub. Like to Booyah123, thank you for the 100 bits. Congratulations, Unexpectables. Thanks for everything. Black Belt Gamer, thank you for the 95 bits. Here's to new beginnings. Colonel Cheru, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Oh, geez. Tonight was great, friends. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you all. Can't wait to see what other adventures, including Connor's six other campaigns, you all go on from here. Oh my god. Indeed. I'm about to drop in the fucking bucket that is your playlist. Fun fact, I played a D&D &D game before we did this tonight. Jeez. Yeah. I had to push back my workout because I had a job in the morning. I hit the gym hard and then came home and was like, I just need to relax. Yeah. As a wise man up, once said, I won't stop till I get enough. I woke up, ate a cookie, and listened to the Undertale soundtrack, and then finished the stuff. <laughs> I, I put I Remy's will. theme song on, I'm not going to lie. When I was writing uh, the like ending oh, yeah, thing, I put his theme song on. I got super freaking emotional. I was like, ah! I, I edited my next video. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray, Gaijin's responsible. Productive. Gaijin. I'm responsible for too many things, Bonnie. I know. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the combined 79 bits. Dalaran Quest, thank you for the 95 bits. Tis all the bits I can give. Believe you me when I say, uh, collectively and independently, you have all been a massive joy to watch and an equal part inspirational. Despite the highs and lows, you are massively appreciated. And I feel I can speak for everyone when I say I look forward to what you have in store next. Heck yeah. yeah. Marnage, thank you for the tier one sub. Local bird, thank you for the 69 bits. Nice. I can't even begin to say thank you. I started watching during quarantine and honestly helped so much. Thank you. Yeah. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 10 bits. I started watching on episode when you guys were doing the task arc, and now it's my favorite D&D &D stream. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I killed the Nabashai. Zanwind, thank what? you for the 200 bits. Thanks for everything. Good luck with your future endeavors. Also, Gaijin, you lied for 200 episodes. I'm good at it. <laughs> what else have you lied about? My name's not really Gaijin. What? Not oh really my Gaijin god, it's Toby! But where, but where does the H go then? I remember one time I was explaining who you guys were, and I had to, like, everyone had normal names, and I got to Gaijin. I was like, Gary? I, I know that <laughs> Gary. Gary. So he was, so it was Gary for a while. Oh my Gary God. Goomba. I know Gary I know Goomba. Gaijin's real name, but he never uses it. No, yeah. I don't. I've explained why I, I actually love not using my real name in a video that I've made a while back. You should check that out on well, Twitter. Your name's Gary now. So Goomba. You with with maybe an H or two. His real wait, name. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait. You're right. Gary. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Harry Goomba here. I can't believe Harry Goomba. I backed him for 200 episodes. Not all of them, but in spirit. Gahumba Tia. Yeah. Uh, Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Man, I wouldn't have found out about this if it weren't for Gaijin's video on Greckles. Hey! A video that helped me make my oh, own ninja go. PC, Fujinaroshi the Green, maybe. Nice. Uh, Dragonborn. Dude, Dude, there are so many comments on the latest episode, like episode 200, that are like, yeah, I came here after watching Gaijin's Witch Ninja, and I'm like, Jesus. Yeah. yeah there's a lot. There's a there's lot. There's a lot, dude. So, yeah, no, I, I did I did that Witch Ninja. I did another D&D &D video on Samurai. Um, I need to do 
another Oni one over Greckle's Ark. And I've got, oh, I've got people I got to contact for that. Oh, like Jack. Ooh. I Jack know. Is I got... on, Jack is waiting. He's waiting. With oh, yeah, I know. I'm happy, to, I'm happy to interview whatever, whatever you need. Oh, my God. This wasn't even my arc, and I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. <sighs> the things I do for love. Are we, we are not. Oh, We've got a bit more to go. We we may have to skip over the ones that are beneath a hundred bits, just because there's a lot of little small ones. So okay, yeah. Uh, focus on the ones that are hundred bits and up. I and... need to eat. Black belt gamer, thank you for the 245 bits to all the ups and downs. The Percusizer, thank you for the 100 bits episode title. The bar at the end of the world. This is going to think... be Unexpectable's epilogue. Is actually what this yeah. is going to be called. So. Yeah. Yeah. Just it Nico, has... thank you for the. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Just, Sorry. just Nico. Thank you for the 104 bits. Love you guys so much. Uh, Love you uh, we're all. Uh, wait, we're all unexpectables gone, but not forgotten. We will never die easy. Stay awesome, everyone. Oh, Indeed. No. Dusty sweet. Bone. Dusty Bone. Thank you for the 19 bits. DM War Chief. Thank you for the 16 months. Thanks y'all for the last four years. Couldn't have asked for a better chat and crew to spend Wednesdays with. Zanwind, thank you for the 45 bits. Wolven the 6, thank you for the 47 bits. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the 42 bits. Sun Mike, thank you for the 5 bits. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. More cupcakes for Tarisk. That was a Marvel level cliffhanger post credits if I ever saw one. Yeah. 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 I can't yeah. wait. Blackfoot. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the elite bits. Spartan Wolf, thank you for the 49 bits. Dalaran Quest, thank you for the 100 bits. Okay, one more thing to each of you. Gaijin, I enjoyed your intense fascination and communication of history and culture. Zito, I enjoyed the uh, Mephesis task put on caring for people and building a family. Bosco, you put a lot of duty and emotional weight and empathy into Remy, and that was a great spectacle. And Connor, you made Panic an impressively deep and complicated character with a great emotional range. All in all, great job to you all. And Monty, thank you for all of this. That means a lot. Thank you for the kind words. Likewise. Mm -hmm. yes. Doppelganger Zaus, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Citric King. Citric! Ellie, you know Ellie King. Citric. Ellie Kit 16, thank you for the 100 bits. Been watching this on YouTube since episode 20. Recently started watching live, and I can't believe it's over. It's yeah. over. Groovy Boomstick 20 ran, thank you for the 100 bits. One more time for Bosco. Heaven or hell, let's rock. Yeah. Wolf's Bane, thank you for the five bits. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. By the way, uh, who is the best name we had in chat during this? I hope there's something for that. We don't. Oh, we all we love you all equally. Yeah, uh, do. but Gorilla, but Gorilla with a Glock was the one that made me laugh the hardest. I think. <laughs> I, I I I still like Achilles nipple. That one's just. How do you get him <laughs> nipples as your kryptonite though? No, I was kind of overdone at this point. So. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. I, uh, you yeah, you yeah. giggled during every one off. I think I'm gonna have to settle with Greco's fiery nips. Just amazing the legacy. They just kept with that. Yeah, they stuck I know. with it. Um, I think my favorite was probably Kanye time. <laughs> You're such an asshole. For God's sake. <laughs> my, my favorite was this guy called Gaijin Goomba, but he didn't have an H in there, so he doesn't exist. Oh yeah, he <gasps> lied. <laughs> yeah, he's a liar. He's a hack fraud liar. We may I know have where to, you live. Uh, no, hold on. May it's the last to... episode. I have to. I'm speed speed run. Speed run. Kane time. Speed run it Kane, it's, it's All right. Almost, it's almost eleven. So I'm any percent late. speed run it. of the bits and subs. I'm sorry, chat. Magic Ninja. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Dead Hero. Thank you for the fifty eight bits. Martage. Thank you for the ninety five bits. Hunch Ponds. Thank you for the one hundred bits. An anonymous chair. Thank you for the three hundred bits. H Lone Heart. Thank you for the three hundred bits. Oathbreaker John. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Sinister Kumo. Thank you for the five hundred ten bits. Sac 47, thank you for the 1,000 bits. X Wiley Willie, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Alavast. Tiki the Troll, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Lord Chaos Nightmare, thank you for the 100 bits. Toma EN, thank you for the 500 bits. Zacho Duo, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Bulls Suck. Novel wow. Pilot, thank you for the 100 bits. At Honor least with the I'm machete. Not from Cleveland! Thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, Hyena Snacks, thank you for the 44 bits. Zacho Duo, thank you for the getting a tier one sub to Olive Garden Breadsticks. Oh, <laughs> more Thrander, thank you for the 100 bits. Dippin' Bipples, thank you for the 100 bits. Sam the Golem, thank you for the 100 bits. Kaze 3173, thank you for the 100 bits. Mill and Angel, thank you for the 21 bits. Zizo the Dark Witch, thank you for the two bits. 
Jasmine Jr., thank you for the one or the 10 bits. Jack Crow, thank you for the 100 bits. Hyena Snacks, thank you for the 100 bits. X Valley Willie, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Dip Dots Destroying Doors. Uh, the Perker Sizer, thank you for the five bits. Mangetsu Tatsumasa, thank you for the 100 bits. Mad Mythos, thank you for the five bits. Millennium Hoot, thank you for the sub. Just Neilan, thank you for the 500 bits. Sage Meyer, thank you for the sub. Zen Lita, thank you for the 500 bits. Papusa Monkey, thank you for the 100 bits. Yankee Doodle 923, thank you for the 220 rain bits. Uh, Mexa Bear, thank you for the 200 bits. I Am Spite, thank you for the 1000 bits. Baseless 42, thank you for the 10 bits. Carlos Fabuloso, thank you for the 245 bits. 20 BMG, thank you for the 500 bits. Infinite Kitty, thank you for the 23 months. Death Destroy 19 or 119, thank you for the 110 bits. The Chibi Wolf, thank you for the 200 bits. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 1000 bits. Deku Lily, thank you for the 100 bits. And Berg Flax, thank you for the 25 bits. Wow. Oh. Yes, we got a. <laughs> yo, yo, check it out. Cat cannon now. Somebody. <laughs> Uh, I, I I I see rabbit. I see theropod art as well. Oh, no, mm -hmm. but not. Wait, wait. Don't you mean oret? Huh? Don't you mean oret pod? Oh, f shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, theropod has sixteen viewers. Oh yeah, rabbit has forty-eight. You guys okay if we raid theropod? <sighs> yeah, do it. Just All because right. it's the last episode, I approve the theropod raid. What will our raid message be? Um, closing time. No. Um, hunting T Rex. Alabast was it? Assemble. So people are saying Alabast Assemble. Alabast Assemble. I'm, assemble. Like I'm that. down with that. I kind of like that. And also, I'm down no, with that. no spoilers if he's listening to the episode. Oh, yeah. Super. Oh, no you know spoilers. what? That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. No spoilers. But Alabast Assemble. That's safe. All righty. See you guys on the 13th. On the 13th? Yes. Okay. That's All good. Right. Take care, chat. Thank you guys for everything. You guys are amazing. Love you. Have a good oh, by the way, hey guys. For now. I, I wore these brand new PJs for the epilogue. Should I just wear these to go get food? Yes.